and we are back again ladies and gentlemen children of all ages utr proudly presents talk yo shit and we are back in this thing once again on this here saturday afternoon did you miss us we miss y'all so we go get into it tonight is the gumbo pot show the questions that you didn't that we didn't get to and the answers you didn't get to hear also you know you're gonna be able to comment do your thing in the comments and you know just have some fun with us here tonight you know so we just gonna get into it we gonna get into it so i'm gonna hand the baton off to the lovely professor because she's the one with the questions so <laughs> We go get into it, people. Okay. Hope, hope y'all ready to have fun because we are. So let's get it. So, uh, like he said before, you guys, you know, this is the gumbo pie. All these are questions from all the other shows we've done. Feel free. If you want to ask a question, we might get to it. We might not. But let's have some fun. So the first question is. What's something about being an adult that's surprising to you today? What's something yeah, about being like a... <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth? Like, where are these damn bills? I don't remember these amount of bills. Was these I'm the same bills saying, that our I'm parents were paying? Maybe, maybe, maybe my maybe my pops and moms had, did a good job of hiding these stresses, but <laughs> I didn't see this shit grow up as a kid. I didn't see Cardinals all this other shit. <laughs> I just say, damn, baby, where does where, where the money for the car don't go come? Like, why the why the light bill so high and all this other little shit? I mean, I kind of, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of fucked up the phone bill one time when I was a child. Like, you know, I was calling the loop and shit, and I was calling the wrong loop. So, <laughs> I was calling the one that wasn't in my area. I was calling the one that was in car. Was saying, cause wasn't the loop free? <laughs> the loop was free in my area. But I kind of demolished that out of bed all the women over there. So I was like, I don't want this one no more. I want some new shit. And I kind of went somewhere else with it. So make a long story short, this nigga looking at me, the bill, looking at me, call the shit 4 35 o'clock in the morning. He got a major problem. <laughs> like, nigga, he ain't coming over y'all house today. <laughs> no, realizing there was a reason why your parents used to tell you that there was mcdonald's at home because now you have to choose whether or not if you i got food at home but i want to get something to eat i got food at home but I, ugh, adulting mm. sucks mm. i would have to say like how how your body changes on you once you get older, it's it, it sucks. Like you can you can look young, but you can feel old as hell. I do say that old. shit again, man. It, it's like what what? It's like did we really ask for this? Like no. No, nah, but but now I can see why. Like you know, my pops used to get like he used to make noises when he get up. Like you know, he, you know he get on the edge of the bed and be. And then I'll be like, hey, nigga, you ain't did nothing all day. Like, why are you umming for? Like, and then, you know, just the other day. You had I that moment, huh? Friend, and I was like, mm, okay. Now I see where he coming from. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely under can, can understand that shit. I would say um, balancing family and friends relationships, you know. Mm -hmm. Growing up, every day you saw your you saw your friends at school. You had to go to school, so he's gonna see your friends no matter what. Nowadays, um, you you might not see your friends in quite a long time because they might be busy with work and life, and you might be busy with work and life. But uh, you also got the substance to keep on carrying this friendship forward, and you know keep it up with friends and family. So you know, to just taking for granted the time is one thing uh, I wasn't looking forward to when it comes to adulting. I'm gonna tell you something. What I didn't know. I didn't know about taxes like that as a kid. I didn't know they were gonna take all that shit out my uh, out my motherfucking check, and then they tax you on it. And then because they forget to take the money out, then they want to tax you some more. How you gonna tax me on my own money? Like, that, that yeah, I've always said that. that if, I feel if you work, I feel if you work a, a serious uh, eight hours, and then you know some of us they got to put in mandatory overtime and all that type of shit. So if you if you working more than eight hours, they shouldn't take no taxes out your check. Like that's just I just how I feel. Like I mean, it, but you know what? Not just that. 
the taxes fuck you up because you know when you were younger you would calculate that shit in your head i work many hours i got this amount of money coming so i'm gonna be able to do this this and this then you look at your check and go uh who is fica <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these people. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm about to say my my thing is though, like spe- see, that's why I say you need to work if you work a full eight, you should be able to get no taxes because I've seen people complain and they only work four hours and shit. Like I'll be saying, like they work th- a three hour day and they upset. Mason, you know you got a part time job with full time time nigga problems. Like I had my one of my partners called me the other day. He like, man, this shit killing me. I'm like, what's what, what, what they do to you at the job? He's like, they gonna call me in to work a three to six. <coughs> oh, three to six. Nigga, if you don't get in there and work them three monkey ass out, I, 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 I will kill you. Like you <laughs> man, them three hours will pass by quick. Like, come on now. Shit, them oh, three God. hours, depending on where they drop them from, that probably is the three hours right there. I'm about to say shit. I get to the shit because you you already know when we get the job, we don't go right to work anyway. <laughs> we be talking to the homies like, "What y'all do last night?" <laughs> so like, shit, that's a 45 minute conversation right there. So shit, half your day going already. So, but see, but then think about it though. If you were still working in LA and they told you to come do three hours, then what? What you mean? What you mean? Like if you were if you still was working in if you were still working in LA and driving that long distance, they said come do this three hour shift. Are you gonna go do no. that three hour shift? No. <laughs> but see, that's different though. Hell no. That's, but see, but see, that's what. But see, that's the thing. I'm driving an hour and a half to get to work. So shit, I didn't drove half the shift already. <laughs> that makes no, that don't make no motherfucking sense. <laughs> You drove to make gas, and that's it's you. My point exactly. Like, it's like there's no reason for me to go if I'm driving an hour and a half to get to work. It don't make me no difference to make work three hours. Don't call me. That's all I'm saying. As high as the gas is. But anyway, what 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 shit about adulting got y'all going crazy in the comments? And Miss Heather, can you please? Yeah, we got some comments. Yeah. Poetics in the building. What's up? What up, Poetics? What's the deal, boy? What, up, what you drinking tonight? What you drinking? <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, he said, yeah, the way these knees and back is set up, I, I feel you. Yeah. I Naomi understand that. The building. What's up, Naomi? What up, hey, Naomi? Miss Naomi. I'll be she, says, <laughs> she says, I feel like your knees immediately go. That is facts. Uh, Poetics also said, there. what is it? I make a sound. <laughs> oh, I make a sound with... <laughs> Wait, I make a sound with? I think you make, I make a sound. Oh, there we go. I make a sound with, with damn every time I get up. <laughs> damn. Tragic. He also says, fuck them taxes. Big facts. Uh, Naomi Ooh. also, she's laughing. Day is in the building. She says, what up, Day? What's what the deal, Day? Welcome back. He also says, fuck that. He said, fuck that seat, that chap's help. What the fuck? Maybe it's cheap. And here you go with this fucking child support. support. Child support again. Oh, oh child support. Gotcha. Okay. The way my career is helping. We can kind of ask him for child support. I'm not playing with you. He says, the way my career is set up, that three hours turns into six and all double time. Facts. Not uh, on my, not where I was working. Not all <laughs> jobs. You know, just some jobs that tell you we didn't authorize you to work overtime, so you work them hours for free. Damn. Uh, Naomi says, "Good, <laughs> good googly moogly." That's three hours behind the wheel every day. Right. Basically, Ola. More, more, actually, actually, Naomi, more than that, because I got to go to somebody else's house when the traffic is uh. When the traffic is up at its high, so I go to somebody else's house, so that take me an hour to get to them. So. Ooh. Okay, poetic said he's drinking Drink. honey. <laughs> and he also says, I make a sound, I make a sound damn near every time I get up. <laughs> Landon is also in the building. What's what up, up, Landon? What up, what up, what up, what up back, bro? He says, I work 13 shifts, four days a four days a week. When I say I work six taxes. Sorry. No, so you work 13 shifts? Sorry, 13 <laughs> hours. Shifts, sorry. 13 hour shifts, four days a week. When I say California take taxes, they take 150 for SSI, 175 for state. It's best to be paid for weekly instead of bi-weekly. Crazy part, I still don't make four times California rent, which is bullshit. 
Facts. They are. Ooh. My, left. Right now. Coming on that. My landlords, they just fixed up the townhouse next to me. That motherfucker going for $3,800 a month. They tripping. <laughs> they are tripping. And I know that. Really? Over there? I'm not shocked. Well, okay, when I show you the pictures of this home later, because I'm going to send them to you. Okay. You're going to be like, I see why. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath, two-car garage. Oh, dang. Still, 38. Everybody going to have the job, even the baby. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Naomi says, I'm so glad I work from home. That's... Poetic says, that weekly check be everything. Uh, Jay says, it's hard as fuck out here in these streets. Oh, God. And Naomi says American dollars. Yes, ma'am. American dollars. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Damn show sure ain't euro, but okay. <laughs> we gonna, but speaking of euro, we gonna euro step to the next question. So let's get it. If you could make one rule that everyone had to follow, what would it be? Head before bed. I'm just playing. No, no, I'm not saying that. But <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh shit! I'm just joking. I don't even know, but go ahead, y'all. Y'all can answer this one first. I honestly don't even know. Like, oh, oh, one rule? You can come up with one rule that everybody had to follow. What would it be? Mm. Damn. Whew. One rule. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like. I... <laughs> Okay, like you mean like the world got to follow, and I make the rule. The world. Everybody gotta give me a hundred dollars out their check every time. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, that would be sick. I mean, everybody, everybody in the world gotta gotta, gotta zell me a hundred dollars. I, I regardly appreciate it. Damn. I so yeah, you just can podcast all them other rich white motherfuckers, huh? Mm -hmm. Be in different tax bracket where I don't get hit for that one fifty and one seventy five. <laughs> because you're gonna get hit for that two point five. I I have Donald Trump lawyers. <laughs> well, shit, you got we'll Donald Trump lawyers. We'll figure, you, you can we'll figure it out. out. We'll figure I it out. Even go. <laughs> Let's go to the comments so we think about the, our rules. So we got a few comments that came in. Uh, I'll definitely do that. Oh, they said she answered. She says, Can't lie. That's a good rule. Uh, Poetic says, Shut the fuck up and stay in your lane. <laughs> you know what? That's a good one, though. And mm. also, wash your ass. That should be mandatory. But then again, that's a cardinal rule right there. Like, that ain't a rule you got to make up. That's a cardinal rule. You should always wash your ass. We got one more. Oh, okay. Uh, Naomi says, I'm thinking too hard about this. I'm trying to save the world and shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, what was she doing? <laughs> For every time someone is racist, they have to pay you money. Mm. Towards you. For every time somebody is racist towards oh, yeah. you, they have to pay you money. And if they're out in public and they say something racist, then there's this big old thing that you like, you gotta put your money in. Like, you gotta put your money in there. And like, the way it happens is, they gonna know you did it. Look, I'm thinking futuristic. Cause they gonna, you gotta scan your hand. Cause you know, everybody gonna have the chips. So you gonna have to pay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't judge okay. me. Chips in the hand. I'm not judging. I just said it was interesting. <laughs> I ain't mad at that one. <laughs> For me, it'll be people need to stop driving like they're in the Fast and Furious just because they're in the damn hurry. Shit, I need them to drive like they're in the Fast and Furious. Um, <laughs> you see, see what happened? Yeah, like uh, yeah, look, 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 some of them motherfuckers be Apparently, idiots on the that's road. why I got to do my nine hours of community service, okay? Oh, yeah. Um, that's how we could. Listen, that's, hmm. already law, that's already a law of meat. <laughs> Yo, shit yeah. Yo, shit wow. <laughs> well, all anyway. that's, not, that's not most of us, but uh, <laughs> shall we move it on or should we go, go ahead and ponder? Well, I mean, is anybody no, going to try to answer this question? I did it. 
My answer, you know what? <clears throat> My answer is this. Every single employer is required to give every, and when I say paid vacation, I'm not talking about just time off. Paid vacation, like every employee picks where they go. It doesn't matter if it's international or not, and it's all expensive paid by the employer every year. Well, when that becomes available, let me know. I'm just saying, like, wouldn't that be kind of cool though? Like, you ain't got to pay for shit. You know what that is? That's <laughs> called a pressure. <laughs> <got another. laughs> I'm gonna say. People only make eight seventy five an hour. Now, where the hell you think you gonna go to, 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 to Tahiti so, for? Not this right. fucking. That's why I said everything no, paid for. That's not that 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 like, hell. Oh. Like, our, our our minimum wage is like ain't it like fifteen dollars now? I was just, I was talking about in California per se. Mm. But I'm just saying, certain parts right. of the world, the minimum wage. Yeah, is yeah. More I agree with you. Are is lower than that. So like, I would imagine <laughs> the lowest the person who works the least amount of hours that makes the lowest amount of hourly. It's probably gonna to want to go to the most outrageous place in the world. Like, yeah, send me to the moon for a week. My nigga, your last check was $150. <laughs> what do you think you're talking about? <laughs> the moon? Nigga, you don't lose your job on vacation. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna, the moon. Gonna, you wanna go to the moon? They're gonna, they're gonna send your ass to Haiti with the locals. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. like, like nigga, we ain't paying for you to live luxury. We only pay you eight seventy five an hour. But okay. you're like right to Skid Row. That's where you're going. Shit, shit, you be lucky to go to the. Shit, you be lucky to go to the next county. The best salary. This is, this is where you, with, with, with the pay I'm giving you, this is where you should be sleeping. But, but anyway, go ahead. Look, Let's go back to the stand at the Vidara, That's for sure. <laughs> Ow. Not Ow. Oh, buddy. Um, bang, bang, bang. I'm just saying. But, uh, <laughs> to the comments. To the comments. Yes, yeah, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> right. Get it out of here. Uh, Poetic Ouch. says, if everybody followed that rule. <laughs> and Naomi's laughing. She said, bruh. Poetic also says, damn, my pockets will be short because I'll be talking shit. <laughs> uh, Day says, I like that. Pay for being racist. A poetic also says bad hygiene people should get fined. Whoo! Hell yeah. Be a lot of fine motherfuckers. Um, Naomi. <laughs> she my say she is. Because I'm about to say, I ain't gonna lie. I've been I've had a bad hygiene day, so I'm so I can't even be mad. But go ahead. Stay in your motherfucking house. Don't go spreading it around to people. I but I ain't walking up on people like bitch smell my armpit. I ain't like that. I'm just but saying, what you I'm saying is, me. Like, if you know if I can smell you, you need to take a shower. Okay. All right. Naomi says, yeah, I need folk to take a shower. <laughs> um, she says, yeah, I need folk to drive safely. It makes it makes it difficult with that. It makes it difficult for veterans with PTSD and people with anxiety to drive. Facts. Uh they, <laughs> they said pay for my damn vacation. Uh Poetti says, damn, I'm hey, 150 checks. <laughs> A long time ago, bro. We were long time ago. I guess you did 150 dollar checks. <laughs> you said 150 checks. I was like, you getting 150 checks and you <laughs> okay? Naomi says maybe there's a limitation to the vacation price. There has and to. She be. also says that part. Right, <laughs> like. <laughs> You ain't about to get the. You ain't about to. You ain't about to go to Paris and stay in the whole the most expensive hotel on us. <laughs> Wait, we got one more comment. Boy, it says I had all the snacks in high school. I'm not playing with him tonight. You go ahead and snack. You go ahead and snack on them snacks. And uh, Professor, next question, please. How do you know if you're the ugly friend? How do well, you know, um, you know you're the ugly friend because, like, you know, when you with your other friends and you know they be trying to introduce you to females and they kind of like, you know, look past you and start talking back to the friends, so you be like, damn, okay, that's how you feel, huh? okay. But the worst part would be, be is she the ugly friend? How do they ugly friends? <laughs> damn. Oh, they, both hate, they both hate on each other too. Like, I don't want the ugly motherfucker. I don't want the ugly motherfucker either. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I'm the ugly friend. So that's the reason why I'd be like, okay, that's cool. But you know what I'm saying? But goddamn, you ain't got to diss me. I just said hi. That's all I, I ain't saying. I tried to get your number or anything like that. But you know, been in like, a lot of be the one talking to me to keep my friends busy. Like, 
Because usually the ugly friend is usually the one that also talks the most shit too. Like, we need to go. It's time to leave, y'all. Just cock block it. That must be the ugly friend. Because I'm the ugly friend in my group, and I don't ever say that shit. Like, why, why are we leaving so early? Hold on, the whole still coming. Yeah, I ain't never said that, especially if I'm having a good time. Shit, or I should be spokesperson for everybody and protecting just because everybody. Me, like, just because, me, just because me and the other ugly friend didn't hit it off, don't mean I'm ready necessarily ready to go. I just be like, you know, but she want to get all hostile with me. Like, so yeah, that must be the ugly female. That ain't the ugly yeah, that'd be the ugly female. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you want to know how? I can call Darius or later. You want to know if you're the ugly friend? Ask a child. Ask a fucking child. That is true. Ask they have no filter. Ask a kid at all. Who ask a kid? Who will tell you if you are? No, that that would be one of my that would be one of my rules. Kids gotta kids gotta learn how to be nice. Like they some little assholes. Tiny little hippies. To be honest. They're the most purest in the world because they don't understand. So that's what makes them the most honest in the goddamn world. Because they well, don't know that they're hurting their feelings. They well, just letting you know you ugly. Well, I mean, that may be true and all, but see, I, my, I, you know, I'm already sensitive. So therefore, I get to talk about their mama when they talk about me. So it's like, <laughs> you better buck the fuck up, Bart. <laughs> well, I, I buck the fuck up and I talk about their mama and their father. <laughs> you think they give like, a damn at that point? <laughs> I really give a damn. Like, don't be. T- I ain't bothering you. Bother me. I'm not bothering. I'm not bothering. I'm a fucking shit. Like, like I said, you grown enough to talk back. You grown enough to get the. You grown enough to get fucked well, see, up. That's what you know is. what's fucked up? You ask a kid if they ugly, if you ugly or not, and they tell you the truth, and then you get mad. I ain't about to walk up and ask no kid that though, because <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your opinion until you start talking about me without without my uh without my asking. That's when I get upset. Like. <laughs> Don't ever have your own kids, bro. That's all I gotta say. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I'm ugly. I'm I'm aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Me tell you know you I, I know lie, me tell you know you ugly for it. They be, they be, I'll be walking around Costco. Mommy, he fat. So is your mama. Shut up. Like, who are you talking to? Like, who are you talking to? Damn. Let somebody call me fat. I'm going to be like that little boy. So, give a fuck. Fat. I can be fat. I, I'll be like your mama fat. fat. <laughs> like, just because you're able to lay on my her. own knees. So. Just because you and just because you able to lay on her goddamn stomach don't mean that you can that she gets a pass. Fuck that. <laughs> I could have swore oh, Usi last last summer, y'all. God damn. But anyway, continue. <laughs> Give me the other comments, please. <laughs> me, you can answer. We can get Misha's answer when we come back from the comments, though. Uh, damn, okay. <laughs> I know I'm the ugly friend, so I, I don't give a shit. I know I am too, so I ain't tripping. All right, Naomi. I'm gonna send my cute friends, so that's okay. She said, laughing hey, my fucking ass off. Oh my god, who asked this? Hello. <laughs> Landis is I'm the ugly friend. Hey, as soon as hey, you hey, a, hey Landis, I, I expect to see you at the meetings, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ugly niggas unite. Hi. Right. No, no, unite. No, no, no. Ugly, 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 ugly forever. Ugly, ugly friend, ugly friend anonymous. I'm not playing with you. Oh, um, po- poetic says all friends only compliment your outfit. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend that comes to mind. Go be like, hey, yo. Oh, I must be the ugly fucking friend. That is fucking crazy. Like, you know, your shoes, that shirt is, yeah. Because Aaron always compliment me on my outfit, so I must be the ugly. Damn. How you the ugly friend? How you the ugly friend wearing red bottoms? Fucking. <laughs> you got the flyest shit. You got the flyest shit. I'm pissing ugly people because they ain't got money to spend on other people. So they got money to buy this shit. Nice shoes you got on, bro. Like, I'm with you on that. Like, and never in my life am I calling the ugly friend when I know I'm I know I'm the ugly friend. Did you know why I was so late to party? You know why I so late to all the parties? Because I know I'm the ugly motherfucker in the in the room. You a lie. No, no, see, see, see your cold brown eyed ass coming in the room. Exactly. Don't let me just start with you, Professor. 
I Please. Know. Please. We will share. We will. We will share these videos on his live tonight. I don't care. See, and then it don't make the it don't help the fact that I'm short. So it's like, oh, you ugly and short. So it's like it's like a double whammy now. You being short, you being short has never stopped someone's grandma coming up to you talking about you look like my nephew. You you remind me of my nephew. What kind of fucking compliment is that, bro? (laughs) It don't matter. It has not stopped. It has not stopped. It has not stopped anyone's grandma for saying you a nice nephew. Remind me of my nephew. You look like my grandson. So what are you saying? Like that is horrible. Like that's a horrible compliment. (laughs) We can see you. I'm sorry. It ain't horrible. You better leave Aunt B alone. Hold on, because we got a lot more comments. I don't want oh, like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> okay, so Naomi said, I think at some point in different scenarios, you will be, quote, unquote, the ugly friend. I mean, uh, poetic I mean, says, I will never be the ugly friend. I'm going to be the semi-cute friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next week, comments is all poetic. Oh, he says, you got to buy all your own drinks at the club. Oh, I'm good, That's, then. that's definitely me. I'm it good. is definitely me. I love you. Hey, show show it. No, no, no. I'm on my fridge. But the the pastor has bought you around before, so you have not bought all your. You have not bought all your drinks before. Who? The professor, hello. Oh, oh I was about to be yeah. like, oh, no, I, was, I thought you meant me. I was about to be like, no, you ain't never seen a woman buy me no fucking drink. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> but that don't mean that I was cute to her, though. I, was just, well, I, I, I didn't say that. Somebody. I didn't I was say that. With somebody, and she said, what y'all drinking? So I was like, okay, like, you know. I didn't offer. I didn't want the drink. I always have to buy my own drinks. So I, I, mean, I know for sure I'm the ugly friend in the group. I, 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 I got a drink walking into the bar in 5.2 seconds, but okay then. So which proves mm. you ain't the ugly friend. I or said semi. I'm the semi cute friend semi. or semi. I am the semi cute friend because you know I haven't been the ugly friend, but I have been the fat friend. That is for sure. <laughs> Well, fat don't, fat don't I mean, stop fat, I mean, fat doesn't really. I mean, fat don't necessarily mean don't mean you ugly. Though. I mean, now no, but when I was starting to go to clubs, like when I was eighteen. Well, like, I mean, I would say it was more. I, was 18, I mean, I'm, back I'm back, back in high school with. days, you know, if you were a little on the heavy side, you were not looked at as much, and it wasn't we. It wasn't as popular as it is now. So I right. get that. But you know, Chris got about that a long time ago, y'all. Relax. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's why I was like, it's that's a long time ago. We we talking about right now so long 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 time ago that's true all right let's get back to these comments we still got a few um poetic says you the friend that all the homies be like you got somebody for the home and then he says ask ask grandma hold on wait look at this no you can't ask your grandma let says this right here and then poetic also says you the chick that all your friends call to fight <laughs> I, one for the team. I, I know a couple of them. <laughs> yeah. You can take one for the team type of friend. Call them, Damn. Call them wisdom tooth and the ops. <laughs> uh, Naomi says kids are indeed assholes. Uh, Poetic says if I was shorter without a career, I would be the ugly friend. Uh, he also said, God, you the friend taking the picture, I not in the picture. Sure, so what does that make me? But go ahead. Dang, look, I just became the ugly friend. Well, I'll be in pictures, I'll but I'll be taking, taking the picture. Right, like, I'll be taking the pic. Okay. Oh, well, I'm really the ugly friend, because you should see them <laughs> old chicks. They be take a picture of me and the DJ. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> snap, <laughs> snap. We got a couple, got a couple snap, more. Snap. Uh, Poetic says, you you the guy that dance up on a girl and she walk away when she turn around and see you. Oh, that's me. That's me. I've had that. Uh, Naomi yeah, said, not, not on B, laughing my fucking ass off. Uh, Poetic <laughs> says, somebody got to be drunk slash high to sleep with you. The drink part was for the women. Men, wait, men buy majority of their own drinks. <sighs> that in college, I was definitely right. fat, ugly right. friend. He also said laughing my ass off. Eli is in the building. What up, Eli? What up, Eli? <laughs> now, it's about to be a turn of the day. Yes. Oh. Let's go. Here you go. He says, you know the ugly friend when you go to church and they rather tap your shoulder and chuckle than give you a hug and prayer. Think about it. <laughs> Damn. Yikes. Well, I Eli mean, has one right now. It's a little bit different. <laughs> We got one more. We got one more before we go to the next one. We get the meet the answers. Okay. Uh, Naomi says, "Ugly is just a concept. Everyone of you are beautiful in your own right." 
that's you know that but see that's the thing that somebody would say to you if you were ugly though that just say it like, you know what I mean? that's what like, grandma that's what know, grandma told me low key, right yes. like you know like you know him him cute in his own uh, in his own way and i'll be like well shit, what way is that well you know you got a job and you know you got benefits so you, you ugly cute <laughs> right <laughs> but anyway let's more comments she said the let's Wait, wait, two more comments. Uh, Naomi mm-hmm. said, uh, laughing my fucking ass off. Oh my god, uh, poetic says that part right there. Silk and oh. honey, silk and honey, silk. No, oh, silk I, and honey, think, silk honey is in the I building. Think, I think that's skin silk. like honey. Oh, skin no, like honey. Skin like honey. Skin like okay, skin like honey. honey. Welcome, hi, Thank you for tuning Hello. in. Yeah, you know what it was. You could have corrected her from the beginning. I was trying to, but y'all were over talking me. Oh, we were. My bad. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I was over talking when he don't get his shit out. Uh, <laughs> can, can you go back up and read her comment again, please? I don't miss no, it. she she uh, redid it. Uh, she says we all, we have all had ugly days. Uh, poetic also says your friends <laughs> your friends be like he all right. Like how he look? How he look? <laughs> uh, skin like honey. I've had ugly years. So, but we. <laughs> Ugly another, day. Another, another day. <laughs> she said she also ugly says days. hello. I'm like, no, I've had ugly years. So, but you know anyway, what? I once was an ugly duckling, so I ain't gonna even trip. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still like an ugly duckling. Comment. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, Hold on, me. One more. They keep coming you, in. You don't have to hold off. We we've been reading comments. <laughs> we got to get to the next question. Yeah, Michi not escaping. So let's let's hit it. <laughs> uh, you know you're the ugly friend when you're. When you're just out and about and you just feel everyone just piercing you with dirty looks. Every everywhere you turn, you just see people looking up and down at you ugly, like, why the fuck is this motherfucker in here? Like what is he ugly or evil? Like I it's you, you know what? Room, that made me think about in something. A room full of children. <laughs> no, I was at the dealership and they kept looking at me like that. Maybe it's because I was the only one with a face mask on, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, like, it, like, it never oh, fails, no matter where you go. Like, it's... Damn. I gotta start hanging with you more often. I gotta see some of these looks. <laughs> hey, look, Meech, we'll be, be ugly surprised. together. How about that? <laughs> we'll be ugly hey. together today if that's what you really getting. But anyway... Y'all got room for one more? Yeah, not, not, not one more question, one more ugly person to roll with y'all too. That's what I was talking about. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most What's going on in, my brother? Yeah. Going on like in. I said, I'm just gonna be the mascot because I'm the shortest person. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> before we get <laughs> to the next <laughs> question, read the rest of the comments, but for uh Miss Heather B. All Eli says you the ugly friend when your mama friend don't call you her little boo. Then again, that's kind of dark. <laughs> don't don't start with your dark humor now. But you know what? I've heard I that. I demonetized so. once. <laughs> no, because I because you know I used to think about that when I was a child. Like when they be like, oh he, oh you know when like a thirty five year old woman be seeing like a two year old kid, and they be like, oh that's my little boyfriend, and I be like, hmm. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, I'd rather not touch that one. But anyway. Oh, let me continue. read the rest and then we can go on to the next question. Uh, right. He says, that's a conversation for another day. You are absolutely right. <laughs> uh, Poetic says, you ain't got to be ugly to get those looks. <laughs> also, he says, you're a shit starter and everybody know it. <laughs> um, All right. Record with that, that whole statement you made just for a second, the little kid that used to live next door used to say he was my boyfriend and he was uh, five. <sighs> but that's what I said. You didn't say it. He said it. That's completely different. His right. mama said it too. Well, his mama nasty. Go ahead. <laughs> um, how would you know if you was in trouble as a kid? Um, uh, trouble as a kid by an adult. <laughs> like, what was something said? Or or there's you know so you many ways. There's so many ways. Well, like, didn't say him. You know, you used to get that call home. Like, I'm going to fuck you up when I get home. Um, let me see. What else? Uh, you know, when you be in church and you acting out and, you know, and they give you that look like, I'm going to fuck your ass up when we get home. Like, I done, 
been in that situation. Uh, I'm going to all the here. answers, Jay, because I ain't trying to incriminate my parents at all. So you can have all the answers. Mr. Williams, Mrs. Williams, <laughs> a best will yeah. tomorrow morning. No, you know you're hey. in trouble when uh, your statute of limitations, you good. Right. You know you're you know in, you in trouble when, Heaven? I said, you know you're in trouble when your parent walked their ass into your classroom and you didn't know they was coming. Yeah, and, and you pretend you like you're doing like, work. Oh, you pretend mm. like you're doing work. Like, mm. oh. Don't do work now. You ever do the work on the side? Okay. Oh, oh, and, that, oh, no. and, that, and that's when your friends be like, "Oh, that's your motherfucking mama." <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, now, now I see why you. Now I see why you be scared. No, no, you walk in that house and your mama sitting on the couch with that belt in her hand. Oh yeah, I didn't have one of them too. Come on in here, Mr. Filthy Mouth. <laughs> no. Have you ever been when I get home, I'm gonna beat your ass and she get home and you prepare for that whooping and then she don't whoop you, so you think she didn't forgot, you gonna get your ass in the tub. You oh, forget no. you get your ass in the tub and your towel ain't where it was. Mm -hmm. She said, Come on and lay your ass across the bed. And she got that motherfucking belt. Whew. It was like the worst ass whooping though. No, oh, I woke up for ass whooping yeah. from sleep. Like, I thought I was fine, and all of a sudden, I just feel the blanket, bam! Like, oh. that was because you didn't clean the kitchen up, and she didn't got up, and she didn't woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and the motherfucker was still dirty. I remember. No, I remember, no. I, remember, I can tell I remember, you why that happened. I was supposed to get an ass whooping. My mama told me to walk to the back to get my ass whooping, and I told her no. <laughs> when I say <laughs> this woman... <laughs> Chased me to the back to the back of the house, and I damn near made it out the back door. <laughs> but she got me. <laughs> it's the and fact that everybody had the same shot look that he said no, because everybody knows, like you don't say no. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's, that's what you, no, no, you ever, you, you know, ever grab, you know, you ever grab the belt and realize you grabbed it. <laughs> you be <gasps> no. <laughs> I grabbed the belt. Oh, I grabbed the belt. I don't think I grabbed the belt. Okay. No, I said I grabbed the belt and caught a fist. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. My it mom is that type of person. You grab a belt, she gonna find whatever is in her yeah. view. Grab so belt, grab grab the belt, I'm yeah. grabbing the shoe. You grab the shoe. I'm grabbing the brush. Okay, I ran out of shit. Fist. I, I I don't know what happened. All I know is I woke up in the hospital just like this with the piece of belt still in my hand. <laughs> so. <laughs> No, damn. Like it was like y'all honor somebody. They called you by your full, full goddamn name. Full government name. Man, I've never had that. I've never had. My parents have never called me by my full government name. Let me explain something to you. Patrice Donche Spencer. Goddamn. Man, Shit. I didn't even know your name was Donche till just now. Mm. Patrice Donche Spencer. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Well, it's even worse when you're not when you're not in the house when the street lights come on. Mm. No, when your sibling come and tell you that you in trouble because you went down the street. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I've, had, I've had many of them. <laughs> you call, you My brother came down the street what? like, "Hey, mom, look at me!" Maybe. Like, oh shit. <laughs> One of the downsides of being the middle child. I'm about to say, I knew I was in trouble when I got when I got when it was report card day. Let's just put it like that. Mm -hmm. You on the phone? You oh no, phone. because my mom's already knew I was I was notorious for hiding them motherfuckers. They would see them shits for six months if I, if it was, and then she'd be like, "You got like three report cards. Where the fuck are they?" I'm like, I don't know. They See, anybody anybody ever got an AUU? -U? <laughs> no. How the hell do you get that? I got an ASS one time. But the teacher, like, what? wait, the teacher, the teachers didn't mean to do it, so I got in trouble for no reason. Well, after I got my report card, I got my ASS whooped. But you know, but it... hey, you ever be on a phone? <laughs> and you done got in trouble. And your mama grabbed the other phone and go get your ass off the motherfucking phone and tell whoever you talking to don't call my house because you in trouble. Yeah, no, no. Actually, I wasn't even on the phone. My dad used to beat me to the phone and be like, "Hello, he don't punish me." Don't call him for six months. I was like, six months? Oh, 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 it's even worse. Oh, it's even, oh, it's even yeah, worse when you get your. It's even worse. when you get your gaming system taken away from you. Oh yeah, like that was Christmas. My mama let us open up every motherfucking gift on Christmas from everybody, and that's when the uh the Sega Game Gears came out. Then she had a bag with everybody's name on it. Put your shit in there. I'm like, you didn't even buy that. I don't care. We didn't get that shit for six months. 
Yeah, when you lose your outside privileges, you can't go outside for shit. Anyway, can we get mm-hmm. to the comments? Y'all this, some bad this, ass kids. I'm about to say this conversation to take all night, but <laughs> to the comments. I was bad. I was just, I was just slick. I was one of them. No, slick you know ass what? Kids. Honestly, I just had a slick ass mouth. I did too. I was like that's what you get from let me watch Dev comedy jam at two years old. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> all right, Poetic says they call you by your whole government. <laughs> yeah, I never got that. Okay, these are all poetic. Been, if I knew my dad yelled my name, that's when I knew I was in trouble. Like, if he yelled my first name, I, I was in trouble. Like, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Damn it! What did I do now? It's the way. <laughs> Don't lie. Oh, we gotta get these. We gotta get these. Okay, we gotta get them out. We gotta get them out. Let's go. Right. Uh, Poetic says, "My mom caught me, <laughs> caught me in the shower. I've been Ooh. yanked out of my sleep. Goodness. Damn, it was whooping your ass." He said, "I got a double. I got double whooping because I didn't live with both parents. Mom had her turn, then Dad had his. That's fucked up. Damn." Right. It says when my dad would say, nigga, you got me fucked up. <laughs> my dad ain't never said that. Oh, okay. Well, when he said, I got that almighty <laughs> AUU. Because I was doing the work, but the way my ADD is set up, I didn't know how to shut up. And here we go with Eli. Oh. Pastor Eli. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. He says, I knew I was in trouble when everything was cut off in the house. And the house had that eerie silence like a horror movie. And you could hear the heartbeat <laughs> slowly faint. Stomach begins to nod up and ears catch every sound, like the sound of the TV being off. <laughs> but you still hear the static on the TV moving and the walls begin to make that cracking sound. And then the infamous full name call with the slow walker. <laughs> this nigga painted the whole goddamn thing. Right. Uh, no, but your, your your mom ever tell you your mom ever tell you she about to whoop your ass when she get home and your butt just start feeling weird and you ain't got a boo boo but it's just something in your butt you just be like it's like your butt is kind of like mm, and then, then you no. be trying to be, and then your mama walk through the door you be trying to be nice to her and you be mama can I get you a glass of water she like no nah, baby just bring me the belt and you be like damn it. <laughs> I thought I could escape this shit. Hey, Jay, I ain't gonna hold you. One time I had to get a whooping. I was like, wait, okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Can I go I remember, to the I remember, I remember my dad told me. I remember, I remember my dad was about to whoop me because I couldn't tell time. When he, and I hit his belt. <laughs> what the fuck? You're the massive hiding shit, Jay. I ain't gonna lie. All right. to you. I hide. Let's get to the house with everything. Like Nick, no, and then I used to. I was one of them dudes. I I hide shit. Like I lift his mattress up and put the belt right there because I know he not gonna look. He gonna look at laundry and all this other shit. He gonna be looking behind the bed. I'm like you ain't gonna look under that mattress, so it don't matter. <laughs> but it, all right, on to the next one. Let's get okay. it. Okay, this is a random one. Um, Boosie made a statement and said social media is the cause of this generation failed relationships. Do you agree or disagree and why? Mm. Uh, yeah, I agree. Why? Because people are so into seeing or excuse me, people are so into broadcasting their relationships on social media. They have to, it's damn near like you got to get their approval and that you're in a good relationship before you can continue on with the relationship. And then not to mention, you got to like show you just, hey, with Bay, me and Bay having dinner, me and Bay about to have sex, me and Bay about to do this, and you, me and Bay about to take a shower. It's like, ill, like, I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then when something goes wrong but with you and Bay, then it becomes, yeah, when you drive past the house, you see that bitch's car in the driveway, and then you want to sit up here and do and you be like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> and then two weeks later, me and Bay, we good now, and all this other shit. So, yeah, it's it's primarily, if, if you learn how to keep your shit off social media, you probably have a better, more private relationship, as opposed to the motherfuckers knowing what you was what's going on in your life anyway. So that's what I was going to say, that at the end of the day, the social media is controlled by the person. 
So it's whatever you decide to put up there. But I don't think that's a big, I don't, I wouldn't consider it as a main reason of why relationships aren't lasting nowadays. I, I will say it is a big part though. The reason why I say this is because people put so much, much shit with all these different scenarios and I caught my man doing this. If you want to see if your person is cheating and blah, 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 right? Now you ain't never thought about this shit. Then that happens and guess what happens? Now you done fucked up the relationship. You didn't put all this shit. You didn't try all this shit and you didn't see. Or you didn't try to pull a prank on your significant other that you see somebody else do when y'all ain't even been in the relationship where y'all pull pranks on each other. Now you want to start the shit. Like it's a whole bunch of shit. So I do agree that it does fuck up your relationships. Yeah. What's the question again though? I, Basically, on. do do you believe that um Boosie made a statement oh, and said social media is the cause of this generation failed relationships? Do you agree or disagree and why? And I would say not just regular relationships, but friendships too. I just dis- I disagree. I disagree. Well, uh, this will be interesting. I think it's more than social media. I think it's more. I think it's more into it than that. I think the previous, our previous, the previous generation has failed this generation a lot of things. And it comes when it comes to relationships and friendships and and just being people in general. Um, I don't think no one has come before these young kids and actually taught them what what things are supposed to look like. There's no reason why old people are disrespected all younger people. Excuse mm-hmm. me, younger people are disrespected older people. I, I feel mm-hmm. like this generation is doomed because uh, the generation before them failed them epically. You know, people lived in like kids raising kids, basically kids raising kids, single mom, single mom, uh, family households, uh, father, uh, in jail, off the war, wherever the case may be. I I feel like the system more felt them more than just social media did. So, Mm. people are the system is not supposed to raise your child, not at all. But I think a lot of people fall, I think a lot of people fall product of their environment because of what society dealt them. Not so much, not so much because of what they see on social media. Mm. And I, say, I, I feel like not, it's a mixture of both. Well, I can agree, I can agree with that statement too. Yeah. But I, I can. I, 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 can say, say, I definitely agree with what you're saying. I definitely yeah. agree with that. But I think it's also social media as well. I agree, but not everybody has a social. Not everybody has a social media growing up. True, but well, I mean, no, we didn't. The have younger us media, know, but, but this got generation got now. That's why I said media. this generation. That's this generation has every bit of social media. So, I like you. I said, they own Twitter, they own Snapchat, they own Facebook, they own Instagram, and all this other shit. And then, not to mention, they see the sh- they see what they think is a good relationship on Instagram and all these other uh, platforms, so what, and they feel you, that they gotta bring it to that. To their what did we see growing up then? All we saw was our parents and auntie, uh, well, our families, and rather, um, and the only time you heard about some celebrity shit is if you read magazines, in a sense. Or her, we also had television. We had television as well. We had television too. We had primetime television. We didn't have we we didn't have all this that they have all this technology stuff. We didn't have all that. That didn't come till later. I I think single handedly putting it on social media is is is. I I, I, I agree with you. I get it. I'm with you on that one. I agree with you that. But I do think that social media does play a big part in it. I, th- I think the parts that we do forget about social media, social media made all of us coders to the point that we all made our own web pages, add music to it. That's not the same as failed relationships. What I'm, I'm saying, what I'm saying is I think it's a cop out just to put it all on, on social media. Is what I'm but I don't think it's all on social media, but I do think that that is one of the reasons. It's um, it's a ba- it's a major. I mean, but you know, like you can agree to disagree. But I actually, a- after sure. after hearing Aaron's explanations, or excuse me, Double A's explanation, I actually agree with that as well. So I'm gonna say half and half. I'm, at that point, I'll take that because I do the same thing. Social media, social media can be taken away from us. From, can take be taken away from them. Just like we had our social, just like we had our cell phones, TVs, gaming systems. We had all that stuff taken away from us. How can social media can't be taken away from them? True, but at the uh, same time, it's, 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 it's the parenting, it's, it's the role models, it's the people in your life. If they're not playing a part in your life, to, to you, well, if you're that's not definitely true. But you got to think these kids nowadays are being raised by the internet when parents no. don't want to be. But hold on, not, not all, all not all kids, not all majority. I'm not saying all majority. kids. Majority, majority of these kids, when parents don't feel like dealing with them, 
They shove they a tablet have, in their face. Or, or, they, shove a phone, or they shove a phone or in their phone. Face. Or, you know, the kids kids don't even go outside and play like they used to no more. None of that. You're, you're, you're preaching to the choir. You're not saying nothing that I, I'm not agreeing with. Or, uh, no, I, I said I agree with you. I, 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 I Honestly, I'm not... It don't make sense to go around and around in a circle because I feel like we're on the merry-go-round. I think we all saying the same thing and we go all going up and all coming down and <laughs> we all just going to one big circle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you never, anyway, can, I, we, uh, can we I go can't. up to the comments, please? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All righty. Uh, this was for the previous conversation. Uh, Poetic says my dad never used a belt. Uh, he also says he agrees in regards to the current question and he says because a lot of people live for social validation more than companion validation mm -hmm. uh naomi said what are we talking about uh did you want to repeat the question put oh actually never mind she got it i see uh -huh. she answered all right uh eli says <laughs> laughing yo ass yo ass heart and spirit all be in all be on the same frequency when they know you about to kiss <laughs> to the great God above. It's like they're trying to make sure you good in the book of life before your mom take that life away that she says she gave you. I definitely agree, Rebel. I guess. I <laughs> yeah, it's just like I said. They tell you about to whoop uh, your ass, and you be it's just something about your body that just switches like. You, you, you and your metaphors, Eli. You and your metaphors, my guy. All right. Uh, Poetic says, my mom always say that if you go looking for a reason to be unhappy, you will uh, for sure, I'm sorry, you will for sure find it. Um, Naomi, Naomi says, oh, definitely agree. Not 100% social media fault, but a good 90. Uh, Poetic also says, I agree with the system and environment Plus, social media has been a tool for destruction. Depending on the family you come from, it can be worse than social media. Uh, Naomi also says, we didn't have reality TV either. We had wholesome shows. Max? It was wholesome no. shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Naomi also says, people try to live up to these false lives on social media, so it ends up creating a false idea of what a relationship is. Stop following relationship goals because you do not know what is happening behind the scenes. For real. Bottom like, line, see, stop, stop they, looking through social they, media. Maybe like they bought me a whole room full of flowers and all this other shit, but this, this nigga probably scamming or something. And then stop it because you don't know what's going behind the closed doors like Heather B just said. But continue. Uh, Naomi said preach. All right, okay. Professor. Can you preach the next question? Have you ever caught a vibe so good and so deep that you could just sit on the phone in silence and not with a person and it not be awkward? Yep. Yeah. Like what, what what was going through your mind? Like you don't have to be so specific, but like what was going through your <laughs> mind when that happened? Like was you in some this gonna be my forever we gonna get married like did you have like all this shit going through your head like what was you thinking i think it's more comfort it's the complete comfort of just being able to you know you're not saying nothing to them they're not saying nothing to you you're just existing with each other that is probably one of the best things ever yeah but then your grown self be like why the fuck am i on the phone <laughs> <laughs> We watching the show. I'm watching the show. We not even talking to each other. But I don't know. Like I said, but I but I've been in, I've been just floored with a person. So yes, most definitely. I, I've done it, and then my random Tourette's, ADAs, and all that other shit kick in. <laughs> I pro I shit you not. I can be quiet, and I'm gonna go from several smiles to back that ass up. And I'm like, how did these two songs come together? And now I'm sitting here like, you bad. Now I don't want this to get awkward, but it just might. But then they don't say nothing, so I'm like, did they hang up? And I gotta say hello, like yeah. <laughs> yeah right. or, or or you or you could just be on the phone, just just when you run out of things to say, you start talking about random shit like out of the blue, and it, it can still be a good talking. 
I mean, yeah, you. I mean, you know, like that. That goes without saying, but it's just like the, this complete silence. It's just dead ass silence. Y'all watch dead TV. ass silence. Like you, were, you know, you. <laughs> you Y'all ain't said shit for a whole forty five minutes. You doing you at your house, and they doing them at their house, and you just you look up. Y'all done been on the phone for three hours, and you just be like, "Why the fuck am I on the phone?" Oh, like, because like, I'm this person. Like, well, I get it. It's, like you look it can at the be phone, a beautiful thing. You, you can be completely in all of the person. Like you look at the phone, you look at it, it says one o'clock, like, oh shit, it was just 10 o'clock, like, so, so many minutes ago, like. <laughs> right. Look, don't forget, I'm an ugly friend, so I don't want to have to work the mute button, too, because my. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what you do tomorrow? <laughs> I got to all sexy the phone. I will be all hard on my side and shit like. What time you off to work tomorrow? Right. Yeah. Remember, I fell. I remember I fell asleep. I fell asleep on the phone with somebody one time. <laughs> they was. I woke up. Well, I woke up the next day. Talked to that person. She told me I had sleep apnea. I was like. <laughs> I called your name. You died at two fifteen. <laughs> Don't worry, I made you a doctor's appointment, so you make sure you go see Doctor Ross on Thursday. I was like, okay. I was, she I was like, okay. We're not gonna talk about falling asleep on the phone. Yikes! First of all, look, yeah, like I, I said, me the mute button works real good if I'm on the phone and I gotta walk upstairs. Cause what you're not finna do is hear my ass damn near out of breath going to some motherfucking stairs. No. And then if I'm walking with people, I'm like, shit. Now I gotta take them little small deep breaths and shit. Yeah, like <laughs> that, that's that's even worse. That's that's what it is. That's, <laughs> right. y'all, y'all about to pass out and turn right. 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 <laughs> right. You you go cross out by the time you get to the top, you be like, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm like I asked to help you with your groceries. <laughs> like, hey, like goddamn, like, like are, you, are you okay? If you need, if you need, I'm, I'm good. If, I'm you good. Need, if you needed to take a break, just say that. Like, no, I hate it. Don't make it seem like you got it together. Look, 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 when they made me walk that motherfucking hospital, when they told me I, when I could have went the other way, and they didn't tell me. By the time I got up to that bitch and knocked on the door, doctor said, "You okay?" I said, "No, bitch, I no. don't." Like that. <laughs> I was you know, sweating and breathing. Oh shit! And me walked the whole, all the way around the whole damn thing to go upstairs and then walk all the way around. Well, let's walk to the comments, y'all. All right. <laughs> Why? Get your inhaler while you're doing it. <laughs> uh, Naomi says, "I hate sitting on the phone in silence. I don't care how great the vibe is." LOL. Uh, poetic also says i can't do long periods of silence on the phone but in person i can definitely um laying up not talking listening to music and sipping i agree uh he also says i'm not a fan of just sitting on the phone it's we either talking or hanging or or hanging up but talking for hours i could do uh naomi says yeah silence in a person's presence is different from on the phone silence I get awkward and start f- <laughs> and start filling in the silence for random sounds. I'm sorry, I just thought about the did I not just say what I did? <laughs> um, Poetic says, double A, you need help. <laughs> uh, he also says, oh, and I for sure fall asleep and snore. At this age, I go to sleep very easily. Oh, God. He said, I mute because I be grunting because these knees are much <laughs> And Eli, let, okay. For real, don't let me get comfortable in the bed on the phone. Because <laughs> I'm out. Like. Eli says, I think the better question is, what makes the relationships previous to the social media age healthy? 
just because they were together for an extended period of time don't make them healthy are a great example. The issues that are being shown on social media have already existed. Social media was just to, so was just the sun to a lot of dark unseen places and it made the new generation challenge some of them spaces that were closed to a lot of others before them good before them good or bad at the end of the day i'm sorry and at the end of the day it's all it's all that's all he said okay and then poetic says be on, be on the home wait be on the home yeah. grunting and they ask me am i all right oh me on the phone <laughs> oh one more <laughs> he said i agree with you right there eli that is a whole different conversation all right now we about to get into a whole another conversation with another question miss professor i just lost the one i wanted to give you out just now dang it um where did it go I'll give you another one for now. Um, nope, don't want to do that one yet. What's the worst thing about dating in today's society? The worst thing about dating? Yeah. Mm. The amount of gaslighting. I don't know what that means. What does gaslight mean? Gaslighting is just carrying on a situation that you know damn well you don't want to be in. Like basically telling someone that they're the one, they're the one and only, they're they I ain't never met nobody like you, yada yada yada, just for you to end up ghosting them. It's that's that's the issue. Ghosting. There we go. Like, how do you know this person is gaslighting me? Because what if this person is saying that and he really means it? I mean, I, you got to think about the actions as well. If they're saying this to me and there's no actions behind it, what does that mean? But ghosting, okay, is, so ghosting, say, ghosting no, is not No, I'm talking about the other, as far as the gaslighting part. Okay. She was explaining to me what gaslighting means because I don't no, know. I was here. I, I, I heard the conversation. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm, just, no, I'm just saying I'm old. I'm old. I don't know some of these terms. So I understand. I understand. Uh, mm, I feel like what? people aren't genuine. Mm. They're not genuine and they're not sincere. And half of the time in dating, did you just laugh at me? No, I told. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what happened? What did I say? I say he was dying at ten forty p.m. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you ever make an appointment for me, please? <laughs> uh, I am. No, I'm, I'm already. I already. Got it. I'm already got it, it pulled up. Don't worry I, about it. I got I, you, bro. I feel like a lot of times people date because they're bored, so mm. they're not mm. in it to date and want to become something. It's just something to do. Hmm. Interesting. I agree with that. I, I say there's too many. Bored, though. That's crazy. There's too many hurt people trying to date people. Like, uh, mm. if, if you hurt, take that time to heal. And whatever time you need to heal, take as long as you need. Like, don't come into somebody else's life carrying hurt baggage that that person don't deserve. I mean. Hurt people hurt people, and you're right. They definitely got to heal. Otherwise, they're going to continue to just hurt more people. Yeah. Mm. I think it's just the yeah. value of dating in general. Like, like dating, like dating back then compared to dating now is vastly different. And How old are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're talking about, you ain't talking about dating. You talk about courting. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> I love it. You just said dating back then is vastly different from dating now. I was like, damn, how long you been dating niggas? I mean, really? <laughs> that dating niggas. I mean, but you know, at his age, but he could have been dating for almost though. twenty years. What happened? Uh, if, you look wait, at his wait, age, if you know his age, then you can say he's almost been dating for twenty years. You can pretty much say that. Oh, but I think you, you said two years. I was like, wait, no, a minute. I said almost this. twenty years. <laughs> No, that's true. Like, like we kind of like in the cusp, and we coming from a generation now where like 
if we started like really, really dating at a young age, like just at like around the 21 year old mark, maybe even the 18 year old mark, like fresh out of high school, going into college, like looking for that first real love. And now dating now, like you really like could have like a, a, a real good sense of, of what the dating scene looked like from then to now. And that's true because honestly, courting, nobody really courts no more. And I am still a hopeless romantic at heart. So, well, I was, I was kind of piggybacking off that. Like people don't know how to date anymore. It's just like, they're so interested in jumping into relationships and jumping into bed with each other. There's but no, you say people had a date back then. Like did, we're not, we're not well, talking a scholar of people who had a PhD on dating per se back in the day. Okay, maybe not a PhD, but at the same time, like I said, like when you like like when like when um in the comments they said we had wholesome shows. So you kind of took some of those examples and tried to do try to add it to real life. Like, oh yeah, oh he bought his girl flowers. So okay, so that's the way to make her, you know, be drawn into me. So you would try it. Not you know what I mean? That type of ordeal. So I I think romance is kind of out the door it's just more like kind of like oh i like her hopefully she like me i'm gonna try to fuck that's just really what it is to me that's what the way i see dating even though i'm not dating anymore because i'm married so that's what i see mm, okay just my opinion i mean ain't, you know ain't necessarily gotta be agreeable but just my I, opinion. I, just, I feel like I, I feel like people are were, were more committed and there was no reasons for divorces or, or going our separate ways back in the day versus now like you know you saw someone's grandma with the milkman the husband you know <laughs> that, 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 had a whole family on the other side of town yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Built, but the day, which, like, is the why, which is the reason why social media fucked up this generation i mean at the, the day, that back I, in the day, like. at the end of the day i came down on social media either i guess i i i, I kind of say that women grew up and when with growth of women they're not taking being cheated on or having multiple families outside of their knowledge you know what i'm saying that was what i was going to ask do you think it's more so for the like generations older generations did they have a better tolerance to bullshit? It was, it's not tolerance, no, i wouldn't say it was well yeah you could say it's better tolerance because like i, like I, I said, wouldn't say that no you uh, know what it was i think they believed in keeping tactics. their family together survival, survival tactics. Tactics? yes oh. I, I can see that, but because that I, I, I could see wanting to continue with you know the family dynamic no matter what has happened because they don't want to split it apart. Because of course, even I mean. in these days, it gets messy when that I, happens. Well, I think saying. now it's they're just like, fuck it, I'm not happy, I don't want to be here anymore, I'm out. Back in the day, like women didn't make as much money as men did. Now, there's women making way more money than men do, and, men, and women don't have a problem saying, I'm gonna just go out here and get it on my own, I don't need you to be here. Like, I have just as many rights as you, if not more, uh, depending on what your situation is, and I can basically make it just as much money as you or more at this point. So there's not so much of, of, of women relying on men for their trait, their hustle, or anything as women say, hey, I'm, I'm independent. I can go ahead and get this myself if I want to. I don't have to worry about dealing with all the extras that come with you. All right. Mm. Okay. Yep. I can agree with that's that. A true, that's a true statement. Because people, people are... I would say people are more quick to leave leave a certain situation rather than just not deal with all of the backlash because they're more they're more in tune of keeping their inner peace and sanity through it all. So basically what you're saying is is people are more interested in their mental he- mental health as far as relationships is concerned and they'll leave so they can keep their mental health. They, they deal with all the extras. I mean, at the end yeah. of the day, everybody is human. Everybody has a breaking point, you know? Yeah. You seen fences before? But anyway, go. <laughs> no. Next. <Damn. laughs> to the to the comments. The comments, we go. All right, Eli says, I love the- <laughs> Okay, he says, I love a good silent FaceTime uh, call if I fuck with you. That was for a previous. Um, Poetic says, dating in, dating in today's society. 
Uh, Naomi says, people not knowing, sorry, people not knowing what they want. She also says, awakening love when you know you're not ready. Facts. People pleasing. Mm -hmm. uh, Poetic says, at my age, everybody is on a clock, so everything is in a rush without truly knowing what they want mm. or is ready for. That's true. That's a good point. Good point. Naomi also says, not being honest. <laughs> she says, can we just skip to the next question? LOL, this question is making me upset. <laughs> <laughs> we sorry. <laughs> uh, Poetic also says using relationships to deal with mental health instead of addressing their issues. <laughs> he also says liquor is cheap, <laughs> dating is expensive. Yikes. <laughs> he also says unrealistic yeah, goals. Well, what liquor are you buying? That's crazy. <laughs> hey, I go to the liquor store. I spend a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> hey. BSOP shit. That shit ain't cheap. Not at all. <laughs> all right, we got a few more. <laughs> you ever. Uh, Naomi says, honestly, it it definitely boils down to values. I agree with Meech. That's wait, that's what, what that's what they say, right? The words are little, I can't see. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's what it says on the screen, Naomi. Mm -hmm. Um, Lene is in the building. Hey. Hey. Uh, she says it wasn't that easy to catch them cheating like it is now. Right. <laughs> Eli says, I think it's hard to date in this day and age because a lot of us are still treating every month, excluding October like Halloween, when we are courting throughout the year. Nobody is trying to be their authentic self, no matter how fucked up it is, and the patience and empathy ain't there no more. When you knock on the door, I'm oh, sorry, when you knock on the door of their inside selves. Uh, Poetic says, but in all serious, mental health is becoming more of a growing issue. Way too many trust issues that affects people's ability to grow and endure. Talk your shit. Mm. Not all talking your shit. Preach Great on, point. brother. Great that was point. it? Yep, that's yeah. it. All right. Kick, kick it up a notch, Professor, on this next question. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to kick it up a notch. Kick it up a notch. Okay, hold on. Kick, kick theirs up a notch. He minds where it's at. <laughs> Who are false? We, men, we settle, unit, men settle where they find peace and not where they find beauty. Say that one more time. True or false? Men settle where they find peace and not where they find beauty. True. Huh. Explain. Yeah. Well, as you get older, <laughs> beauty starts to go out the window. <laughs> it's like, okay, I know these beauty, I know this beauty is gonna fade eventually. I have to be able to connect with you. I have to be able to, you have to be able to, how should I say, we gotta be able to move as one. You can't just, you know, you can't just be pretty in a relationship. Cause I, you know, I done dated some pretty women and they, you know, they can't do they can't make shit but reservations, <laughs> and I don't like that. <laughs> like where we gonna eat in the fucking kitchen shit that, you see that thing with the fire coming out of it that's the stove when you need to work you need to get some 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 macaroni flowing on that so it's you know a little shit like that but yeah it's definitely true y'all just saying true in the comment i need y'all to explain why i would definitely say true too why and i say true because at the end of the day you're at the end of the day like you said pete beauty fades your peace is what matters like what's the point of being with some like what's the point of a man being with a woman that's beautiful that's gonna get on his nerves every single damn day right <laughs> you know your beautiful cute your, your beautiful ass is really getting on my nerves <laughs> she ain't got no fucking sense <laughs> got my damn nerve. i'm out of there it's no, but peace, I would think peace over everything. So yeah, I mean, shit, like I said, I mean, <laughs> but like I said, then that's when you see some of these relationships. You be like, hey, what the, how the fuck you grab her? Maybe he brings peace to her life. Maybe she, he brings, maybe she brings how peace is, to her life. How do I want to word this question? How is it that the peace is brought to you? What is done in that relationship to? To have that peace well for me i always say be <laughs> be 
<laughs> That's a good question. I'm, I'm actually looking for something. Is like I always tell this one here: be <laughs> be my peace and not my pet peeve. <laughs> I want to be able to come home and just relax. I don't need you. I don't need to come walk in the house after doing eight to 12 hours and you nagging me to death and all this other type of shit. I need my peace at the end of the day because I just dealt with a whole bunch of motherfuckers that I, I can just cuss out a tad bit. I can't go completely on them. So BP, you know, like I said, and then not to mention, if you've been with a person, you know, what you know what makes that person peaceful at the end of the day. You know what makes that person take, you know what pisses that person off. So therefore, you know how to make that person be peaceful or be that person's peace as opposed to pissing them off. I think I think the same thing that attracts you to people or the same thing that, that once attracted you to this person over time is going to change. Um or you know, women gravity's gonna kick in and them the nice set of perky titties is, is literally gonna fall. And no longer set up a nation. Why did you look at them? I'm say, eventually they're gonna be knees so. for sure. I mean, and not just not just a, you know knock on the women, but for fellas as we get older, at all. the the shaft don't stand up as always like it normally did. You know, so it might take some a little bit of you know warming that classic car up in the morning before I get you in you know in the first year. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So I just think the the, the piece I ain't got the Mustang no more. I got a neon. But go ahead. You, you, you upgraded, George. You got the DDL, but that's none of my business. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I, I ain't um, got the I ain't got the Ford Mustang. I can't. I'm not. You know, just no more. Now I got to kind of warm it up because it's a Dodge Neon now. Yeah, like, but you know, I just I just, I just feel like um, if you, if you're really in love with someone, I think peace is more more than just a. Uh, uh, just knowing that I love this girl because she has a size, you know, 86 double G's on her chest or because she's walking around with a midget in her pants, you know, like at the end of the day, like, damn, ain't no way she should be built like that. You know, at, over time, all those, the, all the same things that you might've fell in love with this girl about that's, that's uh, superficial in so many ways. You, are those same type of peace and feelings going to be around if she, if she can't bear your kids or now her breasts is no longer perky and sit up nice when we first met her. Or, you know, that as went from Nicki Minaj and now look like she uh got some set sa- some saggy uh <clears throat> whatever, you know. So it, in it, other it, words, it, find other attributes of her and not just her physical. It's not just it's basically, not just about it's about all this, all the superficial all things, things, all the superficial things that, that that first will draw you to people. Do you have enough peace of mind to know that this person will still love me or you will still love this person beyond that? So basically, beauty fades is what you're saying. Well, I always agree. I, I, I said true before you said true. So at the end of the day, you know, yeah, you know. I mean, I, and I agree. That's what I'm saying. Beauty fades. So it's like can you I, connect I with like me on a different level as opposed to. And in, in that instance, beauty is just a bonus. Facts. Because all the things that you got this person for, like Double A said, those things will change but the real thing is getting to know that person for who they are and figuring out those things because so you're not like do y'all have you, things and, 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 and it takes time because you're not gonna know over overnight for sure. oh, i didn't know that she was barren and can't have kids or i didn't know that he has swimmers that don't swim these are things that you learn things, over things time happen. Right. Things happen yeah. and then so and then like i say and and like you just said so that 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 becomes a serious conversation and then you really got to sit down and think about it like can i still be with this person even though and i know that his swimmers ain't swimming or she can't bear a child so yeah like so it's definitely true but just just knowing knowing that you have a partner that's going to deal with that that should be enough peace alone right there to let you know that I'm glad I got the right person. That's a fact. I agree. That's a fact. It it, def- it definitely boils down to learning a person from the inside because I always say that it's always on the inside that compliments the outside. So if you so if you can learn them from deep within, the qualities they have deep within, they're gonna outclass. The physical attributes. Mm. If I see you with a dime piece, meat, I'm gonna call you Cap. So you better keep you better keep a woman away from me that that look uh, too good because I'm like that's not who he likes. He, <laughs> he, he, he was, you are too pretty to be on his arm. Move, <laughs> ma'am. He is gaslighting you right now. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. 
Because he felt Go. like capping. <laughs> Can we cap and go to the comments though? Yes. That's crazy. You can cap the comments. <laughs> Poetic said true. Eli said true. No, uh, Naomi said true. Uh, Poetics also says beauty fades, but peace is everything. Uh, Eli says being my peace allows me to see your beauty. Okay. Uh, Naomi stated. Every guy I know shares that they want to come home to peace. Okay. Uh, Poetic says, give me a peaceful, uh, give me a peaceful, ugly freak and we good. If she can cook too with a job, I'll walk again. I'm done. Poetic <laughs> also says, but don't get it wrong. You can find peace in a beautiful woman. Beauty is in the high eyes of the beholder. Um, he also says, all stretch marks oh, be. Hmm? Oh, wait, I did. Oh, here we go. He says, all stretch marks mean is that she was small and got B, or she was B and got small. Either way, I'm smashing. Please say, you Either know. way. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Naomi says, but those things aren't going to take, aren't going to take away from the peace they may cause. Those are cir sorry, circumstantial things that can change the relationship for sure, but shouldn't take away from the ability to be peace. Mm. Mm, okay, mm. Naomi. I see you, Naomi. Talk your shit, I'll bro. I'll speak tonight. Now talk your shit, Miss Professor, with the next question. Please. True or false? Reciprocation is a huge factor in a relationship. That is a fucking fact. That. <laughs> that and I, that's like up for debate. Fact. If I'm giving all this love to you and I don't get nothing back, fuck you, bitch. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you tonight? You drinking? Yes. <laughs> what you said it though. Yes. Hey, at least be honest about it. Is it vodka again? No, it's Taylor Port. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, Taylor. Kool Aid. Yeah, too. <laughs> uh, anybody else want to uh, answer uh, that? Yeah, question? I answered the fucking question. So uh, the gates are open. <laughs> the, the, rebel, the, the, rebel, the rebel took the shots first. So <laughs> I agree. Why? Why? Elaborate. Oh, shit. <laughs> you thought right. you could get out of this with just a yes? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Reciprocation matters because why would you want to be in a relationship where it was just one sided? It sounded like she said precipitation. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm to say, that's something that happens to your heart. Like. I'm about to say that's something that happens to your heart, right? No. That's yeah. pepitations. Wow. Oh, that's pepitations. Oh, okay, my bad. You know, precipitation, pepitations, pre preparation. I mean, this is it kind of fucks my day up a little bit. But go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it doesn't make any sense to be in a one sided relationship. You have to have reciprocation of energy, period. Just energy? Well, energy and everything. Shit. Energy, money, just, 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 <laughs> just things say, that would be love, in a relationship. Like, like I said, if a motherfucker is sitting up here buying, not buying, I mean, because, you know, you can't buy love, but at the same time, if a person <laughs> is like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> it was like, let me put it, let me put it. I don't buy love, but what I'm saying is, though, if I'm consistently going out my way to, you know, put a smile on your face to, you know, uh, like I said, I buy you some flowers because it's just because it was Wednesday, not because, you know, I wanted to, you know, I want to make you happy and all that shit. And then, like I said, and then not to mention, I rub your feet and ask you how your day was and all that type of shit. If you can't, not necessarily you got to rub my feet, but if you ain't reciprocating that type of love back to me, what's the point of me being here at the end of the day? I feel like reciprocation, whether it's in a relationship or a friendship, is very important. Because I, if I give, I need you to give. I, I, give into me what I give into you. Right. And I'm not saying, oh, okay, so we out and we chilling. And I buy, oh, drinks on me, drinks on me, drinks on me. At some point, return the favor. You don't got to do it all the time. 
Just return the favor. Yeah, because I know sometimes your money funny, but shit. Right. Like you I know, said. Because at the end of the day, when you got friends or you in a relationship, well, one ain't got it, the other do. But when it's always the one person just doing it and uh, and they're not getting nothing in return, it it's like, okay, you know what? At this point, yeah, I might need you to. Start sitting, you start falling back. Yeah. And not necessarily you, from them in general, but from doing all the things that you were doing at first. And then half the time is to see if they gonna do it at all. And exactly. if they don't do it, that's when you fall back for real. Like exactly. And, cool. and it's 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 just all about it, appreciation. I appreciate what you do for me. So let me show you how I appreciate it, and let me do something for you. That's what's up. Can I troll for a minute? Go ahead. Sure. When you met me, you knew I was an ugly friend, so what I'm reciprocating for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just the saying. Ugly friend with <laughs> you ain't the ugly friend, trust no, me. No, because when I first met you, you weren't even a friend, which is somebody I knew on Facebook. Well, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about that to the, everybody who meet us as the four amigos, five amigos. Oh. <laughs> right. No, I'm the ugly friend out of that group. No, <laughs> you're not. I am. Yes, I am. No, I bought, I bought all my. We are all the conversation the other day. We don't want to get into who the ugly friend because no, that's the because you show up late and then when somebody offered to buy you a drink, you say no. I gotta show up late because if I show up too early, I'm gonna scare all the good ones away. Because I even offered to buy you a drink and you said no. It was too late. I, I was thinking about driving home and getting a DUI. And, and, and the ugly ones always get you know get pulled over and harassed by the police at the end of the night too. Hello, that's why I got to do the damn nine hours of community service. They would, they would give me nine years of community service if I would did one hundred fifteen down the freeway. <laughs> anyway, I'm trolling. Um, all right, I'm sorry because I'm gonna, every time somebody say something, I'm gonna equate that with. At the end of the day, I think we all send the same when it comes to reciprocation. Um, I, I just think that without it, it won't work. Um, like y'all said previously, no one's going to pour into somebody who's not pouring back into them. At the end of the day, if, if, if your cup on on full or mine is on empty, you're not pouring into my cup as much as I can pour into your cup, then, you know, we're going to be just two people on two different cups. Being equally yoked, all that stuff matters. So pouring to me what I can pour to you. I'm not asking for the stars, the moon, the mountains, the stars, in the world. I'm not asking for none of that stuff. But, mountains are the rivers, okay? You know, uh, ain't no mountain too high, ain't no valley too low, ain't no river too wide. I, I'm not asking for none of that stuff. They, back in the day, there's probably some worlds that they can give to the people. Right? At the end of the day, I just want you to, I, I, I want to know, like, if I if um, I got your lunch today, you know, please don't think that um, I'll buy your lunch every day for the next three years. Right. Yeah. Like, okay, so let me ask you a question. How do you look at life as the glasses half empty or the glasses half full? Both. The glass, the glass is what you make it. Both. Mm. Okay. You want to know how I look at it? Who the fuck drank out my cup? <laughs> that means your cup, that means your cup empty. It was full to someone drunk. It was full and now it's half empty. It, it was full. Someone else Maybe you go get some your life drunk out of your cup. That was a good apple juice, by the way, too. We can can we can we um look at the half cup, look at the look at the glasses half full, and go to the comments, and so we can fill that glass. Thank you. Uh, Naomi says, "Hell yeah, facts." Laughing my ass off. <clears throat> Palpitations. <laughs> that was for you. That was for you, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Poetic says, "True relationships shouldn't be one sided. One sided." I've definitely destroyed some shit, and I'm sorry. And we put that in caps. <sighs> Eli, okay. <clears throat> Simple as put, a woman who keeps my peace boosts my abilities to be able to endure the world that shows me no peace but chaotic destruction. A woman keeping a man's peace is like a man keeping a woman's spirit at ease and heart, uh, sorry, and heart relieved. A, okay. a, a woman, woman keeping a man's peace shows the, I, the man. That, shut up. <laughs> read. A woman keeping a man's peace shows the man that they know how to nurture the peace that is in every man's spirit to protect them and everything they love from the demons in the world that wants to see them 
I'm sorry, see their beast at the wrong time and that woman keeping that. Jesus. Hey, you've been reading your flashcards. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Poetic I can't read this, so don't make no difference. You see how I read these fucking comments. That's why I don't want to do it. Poetic says, bro, at this point, I may be able to be paid for. I done tried that love shit quite a few times. Being a kept man don't sound all that bad with the way this economy is set up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do it, bro. I got to have my own at the end of the day. Um, says, I'm broke. Fuck that. Naomi says wholeheartedly, I agree with that, Professor. She also says double A excuses are tools of an incompetent. I'm sorry, of the incompetent. Why are you an excuse? <laughs> Your soldiers don't swim. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Naomi a, said, I, have, I have two kids. The hell you mean my swimmers don't swim? I mean, they don't swim no more. I don't. I mean, it's incompetent. I, I, no one's out here trying to create a soccer team, my nigga. <laughs> I think you um, were just referring to the word. Oh, I'm sorry. You were referring to the word because of what she said, right? And this incompetent, incompetent means you. Um, um, uh, incompetent means your soldiers don't march. At least I think that's what it means. We, we talk about this after the show, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, 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 yeah. I don't do know what she meant by that. I don't. Shall be offended? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk, Naomi. Uh, Okay, so Naomi also says sometimes I have a paper cup with a leak. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Hold mm. up. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, what it says I just want you, I just want you to appreciate me with that five thousand twist and suck. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Eli says Professor just turned into Eve. Who drunk my damn apple I juice? I put up my flowers yes, in the track. <laughs> Sedra oh, Entertainer crazy. drunk that apple juice, just so y'all know. Sedra Entertainer did. drunk that apple juice. But go ahead, <laughs> continue. Oh, she's. Oh, Naomi says no, no. She says she offered. I'm sorry, she offered you a drink. That's not what. I, I'm sorry, that's not what that means. You were making excuses why you couldn't accept the drinks at the club. That's oh. what she meant. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. Now we, well, you. we, now we know. I'm about to be like, With that clarification. <laughs> hey, bro, if you, if, you, if you need me to make him, you know, I already got the doctor on, you know, as far as your sleep apnea is concerned. So, you know, if I need to make that, you know, for a specialist, you know, get that. But anyway, on to the next one. Thanks for the referral. I will. No, no, no problem. Just remember, uh, you have to go to the doctor after you, if, if you decide that you don't want it and, you know, get snipped. Make sure you go to the doctor. You can still have kids after that. Just saying. Um, you cut your dick off. I'm just playing. Go ahead. Next. <laughs> true or false? It is hard to leave someone when you have nothing to fall back on and explain why. It's hard to leave someone when you have nothing to fall back on. No, that's false. False. And explain why. <laughs> because if I'm not, <laughs> as the, the other question, if I'm not at peace and I ain't fucking with you like that and it's not being reciprocated the love that I, I need, I'm out. Fuck out of here. I like I said, I'd rather be, I, I can do bad by myself just because you're doing better than me or we, we're making great accomplishments together don't necessarily mean I'm about to trade in my mental health and my peace and just so I can keep a lifestyle up. No. I say it depends on the person. Hmm. And the reason why I say it depends on the person because if you have people who are not independent spirits or people who are not independent and they always have to depend on somebody, them leaving a person and having nothing to fall back on, no money or nothing like that, they're going to stay. They're going to be unhappy, but they're well, going to stay. But... I hear what you're saying. I hear what, what? you're saying. But when I was answering the question, I was answering it from no, from no, my no. Point. I, I'm, I'm, me. I'm, you know me. I kind of answer from a, a white perspective. No. Yeah. Um, and then you have those that you know what I'm independent and I'm gonna do me and I'm a, I, you know what I know how to survive. So it really just depends on the person. In my opinion. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. I Anybody definitely else? have to. I definitely have to say 
false on that one because you have to look at how your life was before you got into a relationship. If your life was already preset before you got into a relationship, then the truth you could always you could always go you always have something to fall back on and not and not just that you have you have just if if leaving a if leaving a relationship is better for your sanity then there's no then there's no there's nothing to stop you from doing that if it means keeping your sanity intact Okay. Anybody else? <laughs> that fucking boy. <laughs> just do with this damn voice. I can't. I'm I'm gonna I'm say something to what you said, Meech. Oh. Now in, in being in a relationship and you're with somebody, right? Mm-hmm. And they had whatever they had before. Then say for instance, they got into a relationship with this person. The things or whatever that they had, they decided to give up to be with this person. Then what? Hmm. Shit happens. But I, I think that's another problem and why we experience failure in relationships as much as we do, because I think a lot of people lose themselves when coming into a relationship or, or to a marriage. I, I you know, a lot of people forget who they are, the skills they possess, um, things they like to do in, on their own. Uh, like people forget those type of things, and when things go bad. They had to go back and, and relearn themselves and refine themselves all over again, and I think that's a I think that's a trait that we all gotta stop. Or for those who are out there that, that do do put possess those type of traits, we gotta stop doing shit like that. Like just because your girl like going here, that's what she likes doing. Your ass don't like going there until you met her ass. Don't forget the things you like doing, and, start, and don't stop doing the things you, that you like doing just because you met somebody that you can probably see the rest of your life with. Yeah, you're right. Nice. I like going to Freak Nick Night before. They didn't. Now I can't go. What, what you? I'm, I'm sorry. Mine's broke up on this end. What you say? He said Freak Nick. I like. I like, I like to go into Freak Nick Night. You know what? Perfect question. Oh, what would that? you do if, if you were watching Freak- the Hulu documentary and saw your mama or your grandma and your auntie all on Freak Nick? What would Group you do? to say y'all hoes. <laughs> You just gonna call me and you can warn me before this damn shit before you can let me know that it was a possibility that you would have been in this footage. So y'all y'all never lived your life before? All right, never mind. Don't answer that question. Yeah, we got no, some no, saints. No, no. We got but some saints. I answered the question. We got the most. Don't go there. We got, most, right. we got the now, Freddie, You ain't gonna catch me on video shaking my ass. <laughs> I, I, I ain't answered the question yet. All I'm gonna say is, Mom, how come you didn't tell me? Because all I want to know is how was it. Because when it was time for me to go, they had stopped doing the shit. And spring, and what was it? Spring bling? Is that oh my god! Bling, spring break. Spring. All that shit. <laughs> they stopped all that shit when, black, we, got, black, when we got of age. Uh, South Florida or something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. All that I came to me. On, I was, I wanted, I was planning on going. I was like, oh, I can't wait to get of age and go here. But so, what was your <laughs> initial thought process when you said, "Oh, I can't wait to go"? And then when you got of age, it's like right before you got of age to go, they decided that they was canceling that shit and there was no more. What was your exact thoughts? How did you feel at that moment? I don't think they I really know anything. Right. <laughs> but at the end of the day, y'all know y'all can still go. They just, you know, there's a curfew now when you go to Miami at certain times of the year. Yeah, but I'm just saying, for those particular ones that you actually wanted to go to, where it was always shown, frequently. Oh, so y'all thought y'all was gonna be oh, on TV? No ass, huh? I didn't want to be on TV. I just want to know about TV. Y'all want to go to the same exact thing oh, that you're about to judge your parents on or your auntie on? What about, what about, what about I didn't parents. judge my parents or my auntie on. I didn't say that. They judged their parents. Okay, so the same thing you be able to judge your mama and aunties and everybody else on is the same thing you, you that you wanted to go to when you became of age. Is what y'all saying, right? I wanted I to go. I didn't want to be on TV. I wasn't judging anybody. I don't think you had a choice to be on TV at that point, bro. True, but I'm just saying I would have been climbing my auntie because you know my auntie got the smoker voice, so that's why I don't went like you know you just <laughs> out here at 94 talking about how you doing and all this. <laughs> like, 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 like let's be real, I think 
if you would have told them years later that all that footage would be broadcast nationally, I don't think none of the motherfuckers would have been on camera doing nothing. I don't think they care. I don't think they care. I, it I wouldn't have mattered to them. Or, however, five, women, 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 five women. prominent women are suing to make sure that DV, that it's shit don't come out. So Dang. that's all I'm saying. I'm like, what kind of incriminating but shit is some that? People, some people are like, <laughs> but they, some people like, are they, so, are they, are they suing because of a bag? Or are they suing because they feel like they actually don't want their loved ones to see what they was doing? Well, because of the profession both. that they're in. It's both. They're suing because of Most the of the time it's both. I mean, but this a lot of them are super professionals now. I mean, I don't think they want their pictures with, you know, spreading ass cheeks. <laughs> That's what they do. Oh, at, the, at the end of the day, I mean, it's like, it's like, like, they don't want their past. Like, I do agree. I'm like, like, why you didn't tell me, like, auntie, why you didn't say nothing? Like, <laughs> I, I seen footage where there was a girl that was dancing with a guy, and then all of a sudden, they just started ripping her fucking clothes off. And the police had to come and stop it. These guys were talking about it. These guys, and it was like, and it, it made for a great debate as into if you dress a certain way, should you be treated that way, or be, no. I should be able to dress how I want to and not oh, be treated that way? Not. You dress absolutely how you not. dress how you want to. You, you still, dress how you want. Like I'm not about to just do shit just because you dress provocative. Like right. I'm, I'm not about to go. I'm not about to extend. You know, do all that type of crazy shit. No, like they That's literally crazy. ripped her clothes off of her, and the police had to come in and help her. Yeah. And and the crazy part was like dudes were really grabbing her clothes off her and trying to get free feels. And they say like after everything was done, she had all these scratches and shit all over her. And it's but like, for me, yeah, that 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 like, first dudes were yeah. even back then. That's yeah. exactly what I posted. What I posted the other day is like everybody is tripping about their grandma, auntie, them being on you know camera spreading whatever. But you're not worried about your your daddy, your uncle, who was sitting here at, trying to essay somebody during the whole festival. So even more on, than man. that, even more than that, y'all not doing y'all best friend that's at Coachella every year. And we know what happens at Coachella. So at the end of the day, like widespread. No, it don't make it right. I'm not saying so none. Day, like, right. I, I just felt like you know. There's still festivals today that happen that are just as bad that's not publicized like like a Freaknik is all of a sudden, right. you know. True. But I think it's because of what Freaknik turned into. Like I think that's why they put I, so I much heat on it. But I it's don't think so. No I, I, I different think, than you know any other situation. I think as black folks, we had our own spring break to go to, and people saw how good it was, and they made it a negative connotation about it. At the end of the day, like people were getting fucked, people clothes were getting ripped off at the white people MTV spring break. All In the time. other I'm words, sure one apple don't spoil the bunch. But true, but I just feel like because black people was over it, that's why the now freak nigga is now something that's a negative look out in a negative people. light. Yeah, it's it's they have been bringing that, but it's funny that you say that, Aaron, because if they have been bringing up that debate. In regards to you know you want to sit here and put the focus on this but what about all of the allegations and things that go on every single spring break so uh, hold on we're not gonna even go there because woodstock was a motherfucker. thank you motherfucker smoking weed right. before we right. even legalize like right right but i gotta i gotta catch control and go to the comments because <laughs> this will be all night conversation too so <laughs> go to it okay here we go uh <laughs> naomi says Horrible game of telephone, laughing my fucking ass off. I don't know nothing about his swimmers, lol. <laughs> it's Damn. a joke, Naomi. We just, I'm just playing up here. No, don't mind. Don't, don't take me serious. So, and poetic says yes and no. Yes, because I need that peace. No, because that bedroom life might be that fire. Mm. Um, she, sorry, Naomi also says true and false. For me, I'm gonna leave because I honor myself more. But I have some clients who stay because of the final security that their partner provides, even though they don't like them. Wow. Uh, Poetic says, Pandemic. bros, he says, bros, y'all know how hard it'd be to leave that throat go that throat got. Sorry, throat goat. And then Naomi met I, mm -hmm. I can leave a throat goat in a heartbeat. At all. <laughs> all right. Uh, Poetic says, Chuck Chris Rock said. <laughs> uh, Chris Rock said men don't like to go back sexually and women don't like to go backwards financially. Mm. I'd be like, okay, mom, fuck it up. Oh, he's talking about <laughs> uh, Naomi said laugh, but she was in jail, so I know she's not in it. 
<laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Melinda says, I asked her already, <laughs> and she said she only went to the party in Palm Springs. <laughs> I had all the freak Nick bands and TV tomorrow. DVDs. Damn. <laughs> she said my dad was probably there, t- was, was probably there, though. I know my daddy wasn't there. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga walk around in a three-piece suit with 95 degrees heat. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, Eli says, I'm Bernie Mac from House Party if I find out. I knew you was a hoe. <laughs> Wait. Now I remember. I can't even remember the day. They used to call Not you a jawbone over there. And, and <laughs> left. Like, That's my hope. That's my wife you talking uh, Naomi says Omega Fest was <clears throat> was the present day freak Nick when I was in undergrad. LOL. I remember yeah. Omega Fest. Mm. I never went, but I heard about it. Okay. I ain't never heard of it. And she also says you should be able to walk down the street asshole naked and not be touched. And then she says, you go to jail. I agree. They, they got a word for do, doing that. Um, Called nudity. That's that's mm. against the law. Indecent exposure. Ooh. Decent exposure. That too. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's called you're going to jail. <laughs> do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> Can we pass right. go and go to the next question? <laughs> what would you do if you suspected your partner of cheating only to find out that you was the person they was cheating with? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all both deserve each other. Congratulations. No, 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 no. Listen to what I said. What would you do if you find out that your partner was cheating on you only to find out that you actually was the side person? You thinking y'all in a full-fledged relationship. Uh, I got what you say. <laughs> so make his own story you short. You're the side you person the, and didn't even know it. You are the side piece. It's like, how would that conversation go? It's like, you're cheating on me. Like, this ain't even my main. You know. That's not how you find out, because now you're sneaking and in, 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 in figuring shit out. Well, that's great. Just let Neve or Max or, ta- or uh, Cammy call you from Catfish, and um, you'll figure out. <laughs> Damn. Honestly, <laughs> I can't even answer that question, because I don't know what I would do. Hmm. You gotta give I mean, I'm for sure leaving you, but with my with my temper, it's not gonna be pretty. But I'm okay. glad you married, bro. What'd I'm you glad. say, cheat, shitty, bang, bang? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure, for Maybe. sure, everybody gonna unalive. <laughs> like I should this whole motherfucker. <laughs> Crazy. And then someone just come up in there. Yeah, you bitches, I'm a killer. I shoot you on the face. <laughs> <laughs> everybody unalive. Damn. Damn. All my boobs ricocheting. You know what? I feel embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know. I probably be embarrassed. I probably want to cry. I probably want to hurt some because when feelings get involved, my God. But you know what? At the end of the day, too, oh, you cheating on me, and I find out, and I didn't know. Your uh person that you with, your main, gonna know too. Mm. Mm. No, I'm you, you damn right. I'm gonna let that person know. That yes, nigga ain't shit. Uh, so that's basically I heard, I heard all this shit down. <laughs> yeah. At that point, it's an eye for these women. Come, come with, <laughs> come, come to these women. Coming to these two women single, if that's the case. Well, one of them. <laughs> all I'm saying is an eye for an eye. If you do me dirty, then guess what? The two for two. Karma is a motherfucker. Go for me, and I'll set you free. She's not gonna wait for karma. I'm gonna wash that ass out like you took detergent. Don't play with me. Come you on. know, some people don't get karma. It's just like, sometimes that's the way the car is stacked. It's like Ooh. people be like, "Yeah, it's okay. You go get yours." Some no, don't get this. no, fuck that. Karma don't skip nobody. The hell, it may not come soon, but it will eventually. Okay. It I've seen me. karma skip plenty of people before. In my day, so just wait. I want to go on my nerves. What I gotta wait another 30 years for it to happen, but okay. And it may not even be the karma that you think. Remember, people sometimes you don't know what's going on with people, they might be suffering like a motherfucker, but they ain't gonna tell you shit because they ain't gonna give you they don't want to give you the satisfaction. Yeah, I mean, maybe. that's true. You know, a lot of people, I'm just saying, if you do me dirty, and this whole time I'm thinking we're in an actual relationship and I'm the side piece. 
she gonna know because I'm gonna tell her. Oh, bitch, I got text messages, I got pictures and videos at this point. I'm petty as hell because you're not gonna do that to me. Now, my question is because you know how some of these chicks are, they never get mad at the man, they always get mad at the chick. What if she decides that she's gonna do something to you or Let try something to you? You think that I'm gonna really just go up to her like that? Like, look here. I know you don't know me, but I'm fucking your man. <laughs> I don't know if you back in the night. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we we hang out and go bowling, and then we go to room 257. <laughs> Wait, look, you know. I didn't hire the private yeah. investigator to follow me and him around and take pictures, and then I put it in the envelope <laughs> and send it to her ass. That's fucked up. She done bought Peter guns to the situation. Up <laughs> <laughs> there, I I'll be my own private investigator. I'll be like, you know what? I'll be like, you know what? This is this was me and her a few days ago. I was yeah. gonna say that was too easy. Like I'm not about to go. I'm not about to do you, dog. But that was too easy. No, I'm not even about to go there. Well, fuck but, that. Uh, when you hurt, when you hurt, hurt like that. When you wholeheartedly thought, okay, you know what? You probably thought this was the one. Y'all done been together for a while. Y'all done made plans. This nigga really still not talking about we gonna get married and we gonna do this. Whole time you got a whole fucking wife over there that y'all really together. And when you with me, you telling her you out of town and vice versa. You invested a whole, a whole oh, lot into this, and Every you just find out. Thursday. You just find out you. You just the find out you're other is living a double life. Like, mm -mm. I don't give me one of them jobs. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm out of town. I gotta get one. Let me jobs. tell you, and if I find out, I'm gonna do you like from uh that fucking movie where I'm gonna wait till you get in the shower and put the goddamn baby oil on the floor and get my motherfucking. No, I was not thinking that though. I swear to God, I'd have baby all, all over. It, it, hypothetically, if that had been me, it'd have been some shit. I'd have threw a bar of soap at your forehead or something. Like, you would not have been able to land all of soap. Them. You would, I would, I'd have threw something at her. Like, you're not about to land all, all them a bar of soap. I got yeah. my tennis shoes on and everything. I didn't your ass. <laughs> now I gotta hit you and run. And you know, that I can't run is, fast. I ain't so gonna lie, I that, shit, shit. that shit look like it hurt. And I'm like, <laughs> I need Jesus. Like, yeah. I got Jesus, but I was mad. <laughs> no, she was <laughs> You got Jesus. You need Jesus. Jesus. Can we go to the comments, please? <laughs> you know, Jesus over know. here. Uh, it's just three. Hold on. Uh, Poetic says, "Been there, been there before," and I was like, "Damn." You going through my phone, but you don't. But you the one doing the most. <laughs> the rest, let's just say I'm not proud of myself. Damn. Yikes. Okay. Uh, Naomi says that shit hurts. Uh, poetic also says, "Yeah." No, do. Yeah. Uh, poetic also says he tried, but he wasn't big enough. You know what, Pauls? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I can't say I, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, like mm. say that, say the say what he mean, say what you mean in the comments. You talking about somebody trying to whoop your ass? <laughs> Specified, my guy. Okay, um, Naomi says, had that happened to me before, I needed to ask all the questions to gain an understanding of why and how. Then I left it alone, didn't attack him or her, just had to walk away from the situation. Hurt like hell, but eventually I healed. My healing was when he got that's, his ass whooped with this goddamn belt. <laughs> I applaud I applaud you, Naomi. And oh, you he answered. He says he walked up and realized that I was bigger. I was a bigger beast than him. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you was a big motherfucker. I must admit. <laughs> like, I think. <laughs> Like, look, I'm fucking your wife. You what? Or I just, you know, I was um, I was, I was seeing her, bro. Like, I'm. That just means that I'm, he didn't have a chitty chitty bang bang, cause that height don't mean shit when you got a chitty chitty bang bang. The fucked up part about it is, if I was the chitty chitty bang bang, like if I was the, like chitty chitty bang bang, you gotta get the in his knee. No, listen, if I was the if I was the chitty chitty bang bang, him and his knees, he. He'll fall and still be my height. That's the fucked up part. Right? I'll be sitting there like, oh, yeah, now we out of eye. How you like me now? Like, 
I'm, I'm out of there. But, but anyway. <laughs> it's another comment. Oh, wait, here you go. He said, I had something bigger that, wait. Jesus, I had something bigger that too. And he also says, we took his gun and sent him home. You took his gun? Okay, you know what? First of all, wait, wait. First of all, who is we? Uh, oh, Naomi says, are you, are you really that short? Yes, I am. I am really that short. But I'm still the shortest in the whole crew, Naomi. Only by a couple inches, though. Like three, maybe. No, because you're 5'4", I'm 4'11". Naomi, they hype is incompetent right now. <laughs> Wait. Oh, she also says, sidebar, I had a guy hype fish me before. Hype fished. How the fuck that happened? <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess. I guess like, well, you know, no, because like, I've, <laughs> I've done that before. I've done that before. Like, when, like I said, back in back in my loop days, back in my party line days, I used to tell girls I was five eight, and I know I ain't five. I ain't nowhere near five eight. Like, so then, like when we actually about to meet, that's when I'll come clean and be like. <laughs> <laughs> But to get into the conversation, I used to, you got to do a little live. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> got one more comment. Okay. Uh, Poetic said, let's just say he walked up to the wrong people at the right time. <laughs> okay. Damn. <laughs> wow. Good. <laughs> like, damn. Like, look at here. Man. He just, you're not going to fucking kill me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, one more. Uh, Naomi says, I met him in person and he was so short he got a soda from the bottom of the vending machine and didn't have to bend it. Well, damn. That's Ooh, a, child. That's he was a midget. Like, a little person? It had to be. Had to be. I can't. I'm only 4'11". But still, if you was to go to the vending machine, you're still going to have to bend down and get the soda. No, and I was and responding. You might make the Gerald Daddy noise at, at that, too. Huh? Say that again. And you might make the Gerald Daddy noise too when you bend over to get your soda. God <laughs> damn! <laughs> oh, Leave God. my father. <laughs> but all right. What? Wait. Okay. Hold on. We got a couple more. Uh, what he said? We didn't even know he had a gun until he was on the floor. Oh, oh shit! Damn. And I don't walk up, I don't walk up said, on y'all clocked and loaded already. <laughs> but good. This was for you, but because you asked me, was a bitch. She said yes. <laughs> Y'all still say that M word, please. Yeah, it's a little, little person, person, tiny little people. Person. You no, know, you in the in the profession that you in, you should know that you gotta be careful of uh, the, the them, them triggering Y'all words. This. Y'all don't get this band. It's a little person. Mm-hmm. But little ahead. person. But I, but I try to get flagged. Little people. Good. Little people. I think. Um. Eli's just cracking up laughing. Eli's laughing. Uh, Poetic says, I was body fish once back in my in those my space day. I think everybody been body fish before. Eli's still laughing. Naomi said he was a whole ass little person. Damn. Thank you for the right the right terminology. Right. And and like I say, I can understand that because like I say, I tell people I'm short. Like I know I'm short. That's just what it is at this point. You like me or you. Go. Wait. Uh, Poetic said he walked up thinking it was somebody else, then learned it was me. No, we got it now. Uh, we they, got, we uh, Poetic said he thought he thought it was the little homie. Oh, and you punched him from my. Okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. No, he he thought that the guy that was cheating with the girl was the little homie until he realized it wasn't a little homie. It was but that's what I'm saying. When he was yelling at that person, you know, poetic just can't say no. It's me, nigga. And then just, <laughs> then he was like, oh, you strapped. Oh, okay, so I, I get it. Eli, you ain't shit. Did you at least get your three wishes? God damn. Wait, 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 wait. We know it, we know it's at least two wishes because she asked for a soda, so he got that. So <laughs> so did you get the other two? Is I guess is the question. But can we get to the next question? Wait, one more. <laughs> she said, Hell no, I turned around and went on about my business. <laughs> Damn. And then boy, he started he started wolfing, then I I, I stood up. And he and he rushed me and got rushed. Oh, okay, we got time for one more question because we're hitting our two hour mark. Right. 
Uh, um, Naomi said that soda was for him. <laughs> last question. Damn. He was he was a little person and not a gentleman. That's so heartbreaking. I'm so what sorry, Naomi. Worst? We're good. What was the worst thing you found in someone's phone? Okay. <laughs> I found a picture of a guy's situation in the phone is what I saw. Like, you know what I'm saying? I saw a hot dog without the bun. You know what I'm saying? Why are you looking at me like that? You know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> I'm going to need you to stop telling everybody who's drunk and just answer the damn questions. Regardless if it was somebody else's joke or not, that's what I found in the phone. Oh, shit. Okay, well, was it like a female you was talking to or was it like a homeboy? I would hope I didn't find uh I mean, where did, I said phone. the weirdest shit you found in somebody's phone. Oh, oh in somebody's shit. phone. It's not somebody you're dealing with. Well, I don't go through the homie's phone, so yeah. I mean, somebody. you ain't never somebody gave you their phone. You know what? You know what? This, 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 not, right not, honestly, honestly, this is the, probably the weirdest shit that I, I asked my I asked my girl cousin to use her phone one time, and I think I was supposed to take a picture of something, and I didn't know how to work her phone, and I saw her titties in her phone, and I'm like. Who the fuck you sending these to? And then she was like, "You wasn't supposed to see that." And I was like, "You, you, you're such a whore." But whatever. And that's probably the worst the the shit I've seen personally. I think the weirdest thing, honestly, I haven't seen crazy shit. But I would say the weirdest thing that I saw was looking through one of my friends' phones, and um, they're significant. I'm again going through pictures, and. I come across a picture of their significant other in a body stocking bent over with the pussy lip showing. That is the most weirdest thing that I've ever seen in somebody's phone. Well, one for your eyes to see, but okay. <laughs> Never really seen weird, weird shit like that. Just sexual shit. I wouldn't necessarily say it was a phone, but it was a camera. And you know how somebody say, oh, go look at these pictures, you know, just go through them. You just going through and then you see them in a compromised position with two other people. Yeah. Mm. Was, yeah and, cool. and that person actually wanted to record that. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was not pretty at all. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Each. I got nothing. So go ahead, me. <laughs> I ain't fair. I'm, 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 yeah, because Heather, Heather, we know you into some weird weird shit, so I expect you to have like five answers to this question. Unfortunately, um, you were wrong. <laughs> so answer. I don't have nothing. I don't look First of all, uh, Barbara, this is Shirley. Right. <laughs> you did not caught that. I wasn't even well, looking. I caught, I'm gonna be honest with you. I caught that like, I caught that like two questions ago. <laughs> I'm not really paying attention. I didn't even know it was that long. I'm really not looking at that because I keep looking at my phone trying to find another question. So I'm not, I'm just glancing. I just happen to look. I'm like. The answer may be quiet. It's your Jeopardy song. I've never witnessed that. <laughs> that was towards Aaron, not you, me. Sorry. You ain't never witnessed, like, not even a phone. If you were scrolling through pictures on, like, a camera or anything, you ain't never seen that weird? Going through, like, really? It's interesting. Honest, I'm, I'm I call cap on both of y'all, but we're going to move on. <laughs> well, since we move, since we moving on. We're going to go to the comments. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Stop. Okay. Uh, Naomi says, I don't go through people's phones, but I oversaw a dick pic in a guy's friend's phone. Okay. Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Uh, what they said, she had a folder in her phone full of dick pics. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's, 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 that's hard. That's hard. <laughs> oh, okay. I used to work for a porn star doing her social media pages. Those oh, okay. Okay. That, that okay. So okay. So that makes sense. Eli says, "Damn, he could have at least gave you a ride back home on the Rainbow Road after he cracked his soda open and said, Woo Oh, Jesus Christ! Super Mario voice." 
Peaches, 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 peaches. Y'all don't know that's all. It's from I the don't. Super Mario's. It's from the Super Mario's uh, new movie. I gotta okay. watch it now. Okay. No, that definitely. I've actually heard pretty good things. Okay. Well. On that note. Uh, <laughs> Oh, wait, one more. Naomi's laughing. No, it's time. No, I was just saying there was one more comment. No, I'm talking to Jay. Well, with that being said, <laughs> we have come to the end of the Gumbo Pie Show, where we hope y'all had a good time as much as we did. So before we get out of here, <laughs> Before we get out of here, uh, we're gonna give our final remarks. And as always, Heather B, if you would please. Okay. Well, once again, thanks everyone for tuning in, your comments, your shares, your likes. Um, we definitely appreciate all the love and support that you constantly show us. And we're definitely gonna continue to bring great content to you. Also, make sure that you follow our YouTube page, our TikTok page. Facebook, if you're not already following the Facebook page, as Instagram. well as Instagram. Uh, they're all under UTR Presents Talk Your Shit. And for my final thoughts, it doesn't matter what you're going through, make sure you don't look like it. Make sure that you always have a positive look on your face. Make sure that you're always smiling. Make sure that nobody ever sees your struggle on the outside. Be positive at all times. Okay. Okay. Professor? Your professor go last. Yeah, she's a host, so Gerald. <laughs> As always, <clears throat> we love y'all. It was a great show tonight. And um, hmm, final remarks. Don't have any really. Don't have nothing. Just hope. I'm just hoping and praying my mom's and them wasn't that freak nick on 94. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Next. <laughs> all right. As as always, um, for, for everyone that comes in and views the show and participate in the comment section we gladly appreciate we gladly appreciate all of your energy because we feed off of that energy to give y'all great content each and every time and as far as final remarks there may be times where you run into roadblocks but you don't let those roadblocks in life break you like every setback is meant for your greatest victory so just keep on pressing forward don't give up don't let don't let life break you down to where you can't be a success story that any that anybody could be proud of is what i'm saying cool um and my uh I want to say thank you for everyone to tuning in. Um, my final remarks, I want to do something a little bit different that I normally don't do or we normally don't do is um, I want to start um, uh, kind of like a feedback kind of section um, on, on our on our page about uh, how are we doing, what can we do. I know we got a lot of shit lined up for the rest of the year, but I feel like we don't get enough feedback from y'all besides our we don't interact with y'all enough throughout the year to see how like how we actually kind of doing. So I want to um, – to get more feedback from you guys and what well, my my father marks is just saying don't be scared to kind of just tell us if you're doing a good job a bad job do you like the show do you hate the show i think all criticism all criticism is good criticism um how can we grow our show what can we do to make it better for y'all but just um look out for a post come sometime next week and um just we want we want a report card or get a report card on how we doing with that i look forward to seeing you on the next show i'm out Good. um Thank y'all for watching and tuning in. Just like uh, Aaron said, yes, please let us know. Y'all got something y'all want to hear us talk about? Let us know. Let us know. We'll be happy to put it in type of, some type of way. We got questions that you want us to, you know, ask. Send them. 
Uh, my final remark is be who you are and don't, don't let nobody change you. That's it. Live, love, and laugh. And with that being said, we're going to go to the comments one more time okay. before That's we get up out of here. here. Uh, Naomi was laughing. Uh, Eli says, one more question, <laughs> Encore. Uh, Naomi said, this was nice. Thank you so much, Naomi, for tuning in. We appreciate you for coming through. Thank uh, you. Eli was laughing. Uh, Naomi says, I'm glad I was able to join today. We are also glad that you were here. Come back. To have you. Come back. Definitely. Come back to all our shows. Baby, come back. <laughs> uh, Poetic says, this was entertaining. Good show. And then he <laughs> says, it's the closing remarks for me. Um, Eli says, fantastic show, y'all. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much, Eli. Uh, <laughs> Poetic says, let's go, Meech. Uh, laughing my ass off. Uh, Kane hey. is in the building late. Hey. <laughs> As usual. He said, good show, y'all. Yeah. Thank you, Payne. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Poetic says, my side hurt. Uh, Payne says, funny as fuck. And Naomi's suggestion is do a live show in the IE. We're working on it. We're working on it. We we're, definitely we're working on it. What do you think come so? We're working on live yeah. shows. We're working. We're working on merchandise. So be ready, okay? Be ready, because definitely. We definitely getting. It, we definitely gearing up to do big things in in twenty twenty three. So and and and, and, and forward <laughs> and beyond. Yeah, all that Buzz Lightyear shit. So, um, with that being said, <laughs> we have come to the end of the show, and as we always like to say. Take care of yourselves and each other. We love y'all. Bye, y'all.